but they need a win tonight. You're looking at the field now, the Astrodome here in Houston. The lights are beginning to come up. The reason they put the lights down is to introduce the Houston football team. It's almost like the start of a basketball game when you turn the lights out and all the strobes go all over the field. Well, they do that here in Houston for their football team. Now, the lights are beginning to come up. It's getting a little bit brighter. Washington has not come out on the field as yet to play the Houston Cougars in this game. First meeting ever between the two here in Houston. Last year, Washington won it by a score of 35-7 to in Seattle. But surprisingly enough, that game was really close at the half before Washington finally scored and turned it around. Well, I didn't see the game, but in reading about the game, even uh, reading some comments by some of the Houston players that played last year, they felt the game was a lot closer on the field than it was on the scoreboard, which I think gives them a little bit more confidence going into this game tonight. But you and I have talked about it today, Bruce, and uh, uh, again, they had a, a number of turnovers that their defense created that gave them good field position, so they were able to score a lot of points. But uh, other than that, it was a close ball game changes defensively. Don James has really readjusted that defensive line. Interesting. For this particular football game, Washington now is moving Andy Fuimaono, who played behind Reggie Rogers on the right side. He will make his first start ever on the left side. He's about 6'2", weighs about 288 right now. The nose guard, the nose guard's going to be a kid by the name of Jimmy Matthews, who is starting his first game at Washington, a non-letterman senior. Reggie Rogers will start on the right side. Very interesting. Brian Habib, who started at nose guard the first two games, he moves over to back up Andy Fuimaono on the left side. Now, we're going to see all these guys playing, I'm sure, in, in different uh, lineups while they're in there, but interesting that Washington would start two kids who have never started at Washington against a Houston team in that defensive line. Now, that's going to be tough for them, too. Well, obviously, they've, they've seen some things these first two games, the defensive coaches have, that uh, have led them to think that these changes will make them a better football team. I, I still feel that uh, Reggie Rogers is a new guy, even though he was a starter last year at outside linebacker, to put a guy in as a defensive end that's a tough position. You know, he didn't even play football for two or three years in college. And so they've got three guys in there starting tonight who really haven't had much experience at those particular positions. You're looking now at the Husky captains as they walk on the field for the flip of the coin here. And for Washington, number 12, as you know, stumbling there briefly, that's Hugh Mellon. He took a look yesterday at the Astrodome and said, you know, it's kind of strange because the corners are round. And he said it's very hard to sort of pick out the edge of the field. Also, Bestie Jackson, what an outstanding cornerback he is. Kozlowski of BYU said last week after that ball game, that's the best corner that he has ever played against, which is a real compliment to Bestie Jackson. And the other man in your picture right there, number 65, Dennis Soldat. He's the big 6'5", 258-pound senior from Richmond, Washington. So here's Harry Sloan on the sideline. Harry? Bruce, I'm with Skip Hall. Skip, you've been with the players. How has the weight been on them? Is it wearing on them right now? Harry, uh, you know, I think tonight uh, our players look like they're uh, ready to play. We'll find out what's going to happen on the field, but uh, they seem to have a sense of urgency, and I just hope that we can uh, go out and play a very good football game tonight. And as far as the waiting is concerned, it hasn't affected them that much? I don't think the waiting has affected them. I think uh, we've had a long trip down here, and we're here for a, a good reason, and uh, we'll see if we can put it together. Okay, thanks for spending some time with us. Appreciate it, Skip. Well, they apparently are ready, Bruce. Uh, so are we. Let's get this thing underway. I'm with you, Harry. You see the captain's meeting in the center of the field. That's Shoppy, number 55, big center for Houston. And T.J. Turner, number 95. What an outstanding player he is. So this is the flip of the coin. The Southwest Conference officials working the football game here tonight in Houston. So it'll be an interesting matchup between Washington and the Houston Cougars. Huskies coming on the field right now. Last year, as we mentioned a moment ago, Washington won it by a score of 35 to 7 in Seattle. Washington 4 and 1 against Southwest Conference teams. Houston wins the toss. They have elected to receive. So Washington will kick it off. And we'll be back to Houston right after this. This is Bruce King along with Jim Mora and Harry Sloan. We welcome you live to the Astrodome in Houston. It's the Washington Huskies against the Houston Cougars. Washington coming into this game with an 0-2 record, losing to Oklahoma State 31-17, and then losing to BYU in Provo last week by a score of 31-3. The Huskies haven't scored a point in the last, well, in the second half this year. They've only scored three points in the last six quarters. You're looking at Jeff Jager on your screen right now. He only needs five points in this ball game to move into the number six career scoring mark for Washington and back deep for the Houston Cougars, standing back on the goal line, number four, you will see Earl Allen and Anthony Ketchum. Ketchum is a guy who can just fly. For the Huskies, very, very important football game for them right now. They need a win. They need to get this season turned around. A couple of coaches that have been around for a while in this game. Don James, he's 86-33 at Washington in 11 years. Bill Yeoman, 
He's been here 24 years, 155, 92, and 8. He's been at this school longer than any coach in college football who is still active. Jager to kick it off for Washington. The delay because of the baseball game here this afternoon between Houston and the Cincinnati Reds. Here we go. Game finally underway. It will be taken by Allen at the goal line. He has a little daylight. Cuts it through the center. He could be gone across the 35. Fights his way across the 40 to the 41. So the Huskies having their problems right away, Jimmy. Well, yeah, they uh, don't like to give up that kind of field position on the opening kickoff, Bruce. 41-yard return. Here it is again, as you will see. Little guy by Allen. Not the biggest guy in the world, but, boy, he is quick. Jaeger finally comes up, makes a hit. The whole host of Huskies come up after that, but first and 10 for Houston at their own 41. We'll give those defensive stats for you in just a moment. The defensive lineup. Handoff straight ahead. And that's uh, Pearson, Matt Pearson. Offensively, Heitman, Hubert, Shoppy, Gant, and Jackson across the offensive line for the Houston Cougars. Landry, Simmons, and Pearson in the backfield. Albert. Habib and Rogers will change those for you in just a moment because it'll be Fui Maono, Matthews, and Reggie Rogers across the line. Second and six. The ball at the 45. Landry rolling out. Going to be chased. Almost caught. Still on his feet. Up near midfield and very close to a first down, but I think he came up all oh, about six, eight inches short. So it's going to bring up third and about a half a foot for the Houston Cougars. In talking to the defensive coaches today, Bruce, they felt like their number one concern against Landry was to contain him. They would rather have him pass the ball than run the ball. Albert, Habib, and Rogers. Now, Albert's going to move to the center. Matthews is in the center for you. Yates, Kelly, Rill, and Hadley are the linebackers. Well, Joe Kelly is not here. He didn't make the trip. Jackson, Peoples, Tony Zachary in the backfield along with Ronnie Miles. Third in the yard. Straight ahead hit just as he crows the cross. The first down marker in picking up the first down across to, to the 48-yard line, and that's uh, Michael Simmons. He carried 20 times for 129 yards. He scored a touchdown in the opening game that Houston had a couple of weeks ago. He'll pick up the first down, first first down of the ball game for the Houston Cougars. Houston in their backfield, Michael Jackson. He's six feet, 200, a junior out of Rockport, Texas, and Matt Pearson at 5'11", 201, the junior from. Terrell, Texas. First and ten for the Houston Cougars. The ball at the Washington 48. Game just underway here at the Astrodome in Houston. Landry back to throw. Looks again. Goes deep. Three men there to defend. Flag goes down. It's going to be pass interference, I think, against Washington on the play. That was this Shepard. This was a little play-action fake, Bruce, Larry where they just Shepard. fake the dive play, and they're trying to hit Carl Hilton, their fine tight end down the middle. It looks like uh, Washington was in a two-deep zone defense, and it was a good call by the official. There is contact prior to the... Uh, oh, who's... Yeah. Now, I'm not sure they're going to call. They're going to call yeah, it against now, uh, Washington. And they, uh, here we go. It's going to be a 15-yard penalty. That's what happens. This is called the Don James rule. Remember, Don James was the one who instigated this rule with the NCAA, and he said, you know, with pass interference, it shouldn't be an automatic first down. Defense and pass point interference of concept. on the defense. It's a fine rule, I'm, and Don has been lobbying for that thing for a long time, and I'm glad he finally got that across. It's an excellent new rule. So first and 10 now for the Houston Cougars. They're on the move. Second first down of the ball game. They line up with Simmons and Pearson in their backfield. Landry, the quarterback. Shepard in motion to the left. Landry back to throw again. Looks to the corner. Has a man there. Did he catch it inbounds or out of bounds? It's out of bounds. Incomplete. So Houston going deep and working on Washington right away. And that's to a guy who can fly, Anthony Ketchum. Again, they had a play action fake off the option play, Bruce. And then he hits uh, Ketchum down here on a down and out pattern to the corner just out of bounds. Huskies bring Jimmy Matthews out of the ball game now. Bo Yates goes back in for Washington. Check that defensive line for you in just a moment. Dominguez also in the ball game for Washington now. Tony Dominguez out of Portland, number 89, you'll see. Second and 10. Landry with the option to the outside. 
to the 20 and across to the 18 yard line and good enough for the first down and that's Pearson Matt Pearson he picks up 12 on the play this is the option play he fakes the dive here comes the quarterback down the line of scrimmage pitches to Pearson there's nobody that's got the pitch on this play there should be somebody responsible for picking up the pitch man somebody was either blocked or out of position good gain for the Cougars they move it down to the 18 yard line mark it on the 19 really so it's first and 10 there Landry looking over his ball club right now Huskies having their problems option again Landry this time going to keep no pitches at back it just as he gets across the 16 to near the 15 yard line and that is Simmons again this is the outside veer where the lead back leads a little bit wider this is an excellent play by Tim Peoples watch him tackle the quarterback and come out here on the pitch and tackle Simmons that's a fine play by the strong safety Tim Peoples Simmons two carries for seven yards Pearson two for 14 so far it brings up now second and seven the ball at the 16 the Washington 16 12 31 to play here in the first quarter Houston with the ball for the first time young Washington defense trying to stop the Houston Cougars and off left side as a flag goes down that was Simmons and he picks up about three on the play but I think they're going to call it back and it may be a little movement in the left side of that line that's going to cost Houston five yards the ball to come back to about the 22 penalties that's the first against Houston in the ball game Washington has one as you know just a moment ago on a 15 yard pass interference call the ball comes back young Husky defense out there you see Bill Yeoman over talking to one of his receivers that's Anthony Ketchum and he'll run his receivers in and out of the ball game and they'll bring the play in Ketchum is a guy who can just fly he has a 10 400 47 4 440 it is now second and 12 for Houston all just across the 21 for Washington 21. Good hit behind the line of scrimmage for the Huskies and a great play by Tony Dominguez on Pearson Matt Pearson. So Pearson trying to go to the outside when the hole closed inside as you will see and Tony Dominguez was there to cut it off. Second and 11 it's a good time for a draw they call the draw to Pearson Tony Dominguez made a real nice play there on the line of scrimmage. And excellent defensive play they lose a yard on the play take the ball now back to almost to 23 between the 23 22. 11.38 to play. First quarter, Washington against the Houston Cougars. Astrodome in Houston. Game delayed because the baseball game ran a little bit long. And all at once, Landry comes to the line of scrimmage and looks over to Yeoman and says, wait a minute, I don't like what I see. And we'll be back with more from the Astrodome in Houston right after this. A play in the first quarter, Washington against Houston, the Astrodome in Houston, as Houston Cougars face a third and a short 13. Closer to 12 yards. Ball on the 22. Landry, the quarterback. Little guy about 5'11, 188. He's a junior. Shepard in motion. Landry to throw. Looks down to the corner. Caught. Out of bounds. Incomplete. Oh, pass intended over there for Shepard. Again, a play action fake. Fake to Pearson. Looking for Shepard coming across. Had him open. Good throw. A little bit low. Looked to me like it might have been a catch. Very close. All he has to do is get a foot inbound. The official was right there, however. He might have been bobbling the ball. He may not have had complete control of it. Bill Yeoman says, shakes his head and said, I can't believe that. Chip Browndike is in to attempt a field goal. Ball is going to be placed down at the 27-yard line. 37-yard field goal right in the center of the field. Whistle blows, and we'll see what the problem is. No score in the football game so far. Washington is clapping, so whatever the penalty is, I think it's going to be against Houston. Yes, it is. So now that's going to drive him back five more yards, and it's going to be a little longer field goal, and we'll see whether Brown Dyke can kick it. Brown Dyke is uh, one of two in field goal attempts this year. His longest was 19 yards. He had a 27 yarder blocked a couple of weeks ago in the loss to Tulsa. When they got beat 31 24. Ball now. This will be a 44 yard kick, Bruce. That five yard penalty makes a little bit of difference. It certainly does. 27, make it a. 
kick is up by Brown Dyke. And it's good. good. So Brown Dyke hits the field goal and puts Houston up by a score of three to nothing. And we'll be back to Houston right after this. Skip Brown Dyke, sophomore out of Dallas, kicks a 44-yard field goal to put Houston up by a score of three to nothing with 11.20 to play here in the first quarter at the Astrodome in Houston. Moves seven plays, 33 yards to get on the scoreboard. So Washington now will have a chance to see what they can do with the football. Standing back on the goal line for Washington. You're looking at uh, Lonzel Hill is back there. Along with David Trimble. You see the scoring drive, 340 on the clock. And Brown Dyke will kick it off. Taken by Trimble. Up the right side, breaks the tackle, stays on his feet, and gets up to the 33. So the Huskies will put it in play there on their own 33. Washington with a football for the first time. This is an excellent run by Trimble. Got good blocking here, but he does get hit right about there and should have been down. Makes a good spin, makes about another 10 or 12 yards on his own effort. Good effort by Trimble. 24-yard return. Huskies put it in play. First and 10 at the 32. Up back in the eye, Weathersby. Rick Fenney, the fullback. Weathersby to the outside. Still on his feet at the 35. Gets to the 40 to the 41-yard line. So Weathersby, just short of a first down, he takes the ball up to the 41. So the Huskies will face now second and about nine. Sold at. Garth Thomas, Egan, Burnham. Now, Gogan, we left him home, so he's not here. Zandusky, the sophomore from Corvallis, starts at the right offensive tackle position. Jones, Franklin, and Trimble are the wide receivers. Hugh Millen, or I should say, uh, Lonzel Hill, will start in place of Daryl Franklin out there. Millen looks to the outside. Little screen pass to the left. Weathersby still on his feet. Good move. He's at the 40, and Weathersby down to the 35. The stop made by Kenneth Blenson, the right defensive tackle for the Houston Cougars. What we got here, Bruce, on first down, is a little flare screen out here to Weathersby, and you'll see two fine blocks right there by 68 and 57. Good block by Agan, and Weatherby makes, makes a good cut right there and picks up a, an, an excellent gain. Vince Another Weathersby. Another good block right there. 11 carries, 74 yards against BYU last week. Didn't play against Oklahoma State in the opening. Long count. Benny with the ball for the first time. Pulls his way down to the 25 and a Washington first down. Gary McGuire from the inside linebacking position from Silsby, Texas, makes the stop for the Houston Cougars. Little handoff to Finney here. We must have had a good block by Sandusky. There he is making a good block. Good run by Finney. Sandusky playing against a guy by the name of T.J. Turner. Pretty good ball player, number 95, and you keep your eye on him. Good look at Rick Fenney. This is Fenney's first action since early the Oklahoma State game. First and 10 for Washington. Ball now at the Houston 25. Millen's going to keep. Millen gets across the 20 to the 18. I think that was a broken play, and I think his running back just fell down on the play. Tripped just a little bit, so Millen tucked it away and ran to the left side and uh, picks up seven yards on the play. So the Huskies on the move. This is the first time they've had the football. They trail by a score of three to nothing. We're in the first quarter with 9.29 to play here at the Astrodome in Houston. You haven't heard the game started late because the baseball game ran long today. Daryl Franklin in the ball game now. Split out wide to the right. Lonzel Hill to the left. Second in the short four. Down across the 15 to near the 14-yard line. T.J. Turner making the stop. And that's Vince Weathersby, number 22. Here's it's a look at it again. Just a toss sweep to Weathersby. We get a good lead block here by Finney, kicking out the contained man. Weathersby cuts back up inside and makes a few yards. Good play. Third and they say his knee went down just short of the 15. I thought he was across the 15 near the 14, so it's going to bring up third down for Washington. Huskies facing their first third down of the ball game. Houston Cougars dig in. Fourier, the man in motion. And off to Weathersby, hit right at the 15, and I'm not sure he got across to pick up the first down or I, not. I think that was Finney carrying the ball there, Bruce. I believe they were in their short yardage. 
No, who? Yeah, it Finney. Finney. Right. Yeah, uh -huh. Finney. And I tell you, it is hard to see from where we are right now. They had now. Covington at fullback and uh, leading the way, and a good play by Finney. Brings up fourth down. Oh, they didn't make it. They didn't make it. No. So Washington now facing a fourth down. The ball just short of the 15. Benny stays as the up back in the eye. As you mentioned Covington's in. Three tight ends in the ball game for Washington. Not sure there wasn't movement on the left side. And it's going to cost Washington five. And I'm sure Don James is going to turn around and say we'll kick the field goal. Jaggers coming on the field right now. Movement from the left tackle position. Or the left end position, really, for Washington. Looked like yeah. Lance Fourier was moving. Or is that 82? So the Huskies had their problems right then. Scott Jones in the ball game, I think, was the man who moved on the play. That's too bad. They had a good drive going. and uh... Ball will be placed down now on the 27-yard line. Chris Chandler in the hole and Jeff Jaeger to kick. Jaeger had a 48-yarder last week against BYU in Provo. Just to tie the ball game. Good placement. Kicks up. Looks good and it is. So all at once it is tied 3-3. As Jeff Jaeger kicks the field goal. Washington 3 and Houston 3 back at the Astrodome in just a moment. Jeff Jaeger kicks... A 37-yard field goal. The Huskies go 38 yards in six plays. 3.21 off the clock to score and tie it. A score of 3-3. 7.59 to play here in the first quarter in Houston. Jeff Jaeger to kick it off for Washington. Huskies, as you'd mentioned, had a good drive going. They faced a third and, oh, about a yard and just couldn't pick up the first down. Then they had a penalty and finally had to settle for the field goal. But one impressive thing, I guess, if you're a Husky fan, is the fact that they moved the ball. But again, very difficult to get in the end zone, and Washington has yet to score a touchdown in the last six quarters. Coming into this one, this would be seven. Long kick taken by Ketchum. Anthony Ketchum will down it in the end zone, and Houston will put it in play first and 20 there. First and down, first and 10, I should say, at the 20. Here's Harry Sloan. First, the Husky defense taking the field now. Skip Hall, the defensive linebacker coach, told them that he liked their intensity on that first series. He said they're going to make some adjustments on the option, and they should contain that. He said if they keep hitting as hard as they're hitting now, that ball's going to come loose. We'll see how much they learn on that first series right now. Back up to you. Young kids in there, young players in in that linebacker spot, 46, Tom Erlison. David Rill also in there. Landry running his football team, runs the option, pitch to the outside. That's Pearson, and Pearson's going to be bowled out of bounds at about the 21-yard line. Good play by Ronnie Miles coming over. Tony Dominguez, number 89 as well. This is the option play, and this was well defended by the Huskies here, Bruce. They've got the quarterback, and then, and then Tony Zachary comes up here and makes a nice play on the pitch man. This is the free safety take in the pitch man. You couldn't see from where we were, but that ball's loose in Washington has a chance to recover it, but the ball goes out of bounds. So they pick up a yard. Houston picks up a yard of the play. Second and nine. The ball on the Houston 21. Pearson and Simmons are the running backs for Houston. That's Larry Shepard in motion. Landry to throw. Looks across the middle. It is in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Giddings. Bernard Giddings. Had the ball in his hand. He was wide open and just dropped it. Again, the play action fake off the option. Landry's back. He's looking for Giddings, who's coming across the middle about 15, 20 yards deep. Wide open. Good throw. Just couldn't hang on to it. One of those where maybe you take your eyes off the ball just as he the ball might gets have. there, saying, yeah. I'm so wide open, I'm going to be able to run a little bit with it. A little too anxious. You're looking now in the Houston huddle. They face third and nine. Landry brings his team to the line of scrimmage. He had a big ball game against Colton. Two for 170 yards. Pitch to the outside. Short of the first down of the 25-yard line is Michael Simmons. So the Huskies close in a hurry on that play, and it'll force Houston to kick the ball away. So the Huskies stop the Houston Cougars with a score tied 3-3 with 7.29 to play here in the first quarter. That was a good job by the Husky defense. Three downs, and they're out of the game, and they're going to get pretty good field position here if they get any kind of a punt return. Ronnie Miles can just fly. He really can. Robert Myers in to kick. 6'2 sophomore out of Dallas. Ronnie Miles standing back on his own 33. Big rush, partially blocked, flags all over the place. 
ball bouncing free now at uh, the 40 and it'll finally be downed about the 40 make it close to the 45 yard line at the 44 but the flags all over the place we'll see what to call this here's Meyer back to kick now Huskies a big rush number four Allen comes in from the right side and got his hands on that but Washington offside on the play and it's going to cost him five and very close to a first down very very close to a first down I'm sorry that was number four Malone I believe that uh, got Malone. His, yeah got his hands on that the officials now deciding where they're going to mark the ball ball moves in the 25 up to the 30 and it's good enough for the first down so that's one of those penalties that's just been plaguing Washington this year they get a team in a first offside penalty difficult situation Washington. happened against BYU happens here they're out of the drive and now they give it away so Houston back in the ball game not a big crowd here as you see not a sellout they expected somewhere between 20 and 25 for this ball game as Harry Sloan mentioned at the start of the telecast that uh, not a lot of interest in Houston Cougar football down here Shepard in motion left of the screen Landry with the ball pitches it wide fumble ball still loose I don't think Houston got it back that was Simmons fumbling the football and Bestie Jackson was right there for Washington but Simmons just going to fall on the ball now watch this this is what happens when you run here's it's a good play by uh, Hadley Hadley on the on the on the quarterback and then uh, Tim Peoples is coming up on the pitch man he gets blocked but he gets up and he's in a position to make the play you know we talked about earlier about what gives coaches gray hairs Bruce the, the Huskies have had two critical penalties here so far that uh, I'm sure Don James added, added a few gray hairs there so far second and six ball at the 34 Landry to throw going to be hit just as he throws it is completed midfield that's complete to the Huskies get a little pressure on Landry here coming in from the uh, left side that's LeBlanc but he hits LeBlanc over over the middle they're running a lot of patterns over the middle a lot of crossing patterns see what you do with that option is you hold those linebackers in with those fakes into the line and that opens up that middle zone for you they're taking advantage of this first intended midfield 556 to play first quarter score tied 3 3 and up over the right side to the 45 to the 44 yard line is Pearson Matt Pearson he's the 511 200 pound junior from Terrell Texas and Pearson at eight carries for 57 yards and then lost to Tulsa a couple of weeks ago running well here tonight Huskies trying to dig in now to try to stop this drive it's going to bring up second and four Pearson so far five carries for 20 yards in the game Simmons four for 15 the blank in motion outside to Pearson again he's going to be hit and down right there Dominguez in on the play Tony Dominguez for the Huskies he's 6'4 220 out of Portland one year letterman good play by Tony he's a, a great athlete he's six, like you say 6'4 220 a big guy that can really run and uh, he's made two good plays over there so far tonight on that option play two excellent plays loss of a yard in a play brings up third and seven at the 46 453 to play here in the fourth four in the first quarter the Cougars three and the Huskies three Good play by Erlinson, the inside linebacker for Washington, and the loss is going to be back. They have a mix up here in the backfield, right and there's there. a, there's a, there's a, a and Erlinson, I don't know if Erlinson was blitzing or just decided to come through there when he saw the, the play developing slowly, but he made a good play for a loss at a good time. Ball back at midfield, and Houston's going to have to kick it away. Robert Myers in to kick. Had the last one partially blocked, but the Huskies were offside. Low pass from center. Here comes Washington again. Almost get it this time. A long kick that's going to bounce out of bounds inside the 10. You go at the eight yard line. You go back to that penalty on fourth down, and you see the amount of field position that the Huskies lost because of that penalty. They would have. So Washington three and the Houston Cougars three. And we'll be back at the Astrodome in Houston right after this. He's still in the first quarter with 4.02 to play. And you're looking at Bill Yeoman, the Houston coach. This is his 24th year here. A great success. He's taken his team to four Cotton Bowls in nine years, Southwest Conference. 
Vince Weathersby to the outside takes it across the 10 to the 12-yard line. It's going to bring up second and seven at that point. Weathersby, young kid out of Los Angeles, California, out of Dorsey High School, a redshirt freshman, 5'11", 192, came in for David Toy, and they felt that this young man, Weathersby, just ran with the football so well that they wanted to get a chance to see him start and play, and I'm sure they're pleased with what he's done so far. Huskies second and seven at that point. Weathersby again. Tries to get around the corner and fights his way for maybe a yard and gets the ball to near the 13-yard line. So he'll pick up only a yard on the play. So now it is third and five for Washington at their own 13. Huskies need to get a first down here, Bruce, so they can get field position. Number 68, Garth Thomas, 65, sold at. They make up the left side of that Washington offensive line. The fullback is Rick Fenney in his first start since the Oklahoma State game. Millen to throw. Second pass in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Rod Jones, the tight end. Good defensive play by Gary McManus, the junior out of Dallas. Trying to hit Rod Jones on a crossing route about eight yards depth. Excellent play by the cornerback coming up on that. Good reaction to the football. Fourth down, and Thane Cleland will come in to kick it away for Washington. So the Huskies going to have to give up the football. Cleland averaging 43 yards a kick so far this year. Thane's the junior from Lake Oswego, Oregon. Larry Shepard standing back uh, on about the 45-yard line. And whistle blows again, and timeouts called by Houston. They were a man short on the line. So Thane Cleland comes over, talks to the coaches, to Don James on the sideline. We'll be back in Houston right after this. How can now at Bill Yeoman, look at that record, 155, 92, and 8. 24 season is Houston, we mentioned earlier. Huskies now to kick it away. The ball at the 13-yard line, and that's Jeff Jager. Standing back in his own end zone. Larry Shepard, Oresby Crenshaw, back near midfield. High, high kick. Fair catch by Crenshaw is going to be taken at the 47-yard line of Houston. So the Cougars have put it in play right there. Interesting couple of scores in the Pac-10 for you. If you haven't heard, Arizona over Cal today by a score of 23-17. And Oregon defeated Stanford in a wild game, 45-28. Nebraska defeated Illinois also earlier today, 52-25. You're looking now into the huddle of the Houston Cougars. That's Landry, number three, coming in to call the play. They have a great tight end, Carl Hilton, 6'4", 233. If you see 84 there, he is a good football player in the bottom of your screen, in motion to the right. Shepard, handoff straight ahead on the left side to Simmons. And Simmons just gets about four yards. He just bulls his way straight ahead to the Washington 48. Pretty good blocking behind Shoppy, the center. Shoppy's uh, 6'5", 265, out of Deer Park, Texas, a two-year letterman, one of their co-captains. So now it's going to bring up second and six at the 48. 220 to play here in the first quarter. Score tied. Houston three and Washington three. Landry looking over a Husky defense. Andy Fuimaono, the left side of your screen. Defensive line number 64. Landry back. Big rush by Washington. Bo Yates is there. Fuimaono is there. And Landry goes back in his own territory all the way back to about the 43-yard line. Well, they brought Bo Yates, the outside linebacker, here in a blitz. And Landry doesn't see him until it's a little bit too late. They must have had a foul up in their blocking scheme because nobody even touched Yates. So the Big ball play. now back at uh, near the 43 at the 44-yard line, third and 14 for the Houston Cougars. Landry so far in the ballgame throwing the football. He is one of four for 16 yards. Shepard was a player in motion. Here comes Landry. Flag flies. Reggie Rogers makes the tackle. Number 51 for Washington. Good play by Reggie. Sat right there in the line of scrimmage and tackled the quarterback Landry as he came down the line. Landry picked up only a yard on the play. Ooh. Offside Washington again. That's two key third down offside penalties against Washington so far in the ballgame. And Skip Hall on the sideline, talking to number 89, Tony Dominguez. Oh, 
You know, the Huskies are substituting. Still third down. The Huskies are substituting linebackers. First, they've got about three schemes that they use on defense, and, and depending upon what scheme or what call they're in, they will substitute a linebacker accordingly. They keep changing up, changing up. I think they're playing that 2-5 right now. Landry, look and look and throws to the outside. Great catch by Shepard. Good for the first down at the ball at the 31-yard line. That was a... Larry Shepard just made a great catch. He's a senior out of Kilgore, Texas. That was a great catch. We had Hadley in his face and, and, and pretty good coverage over there by Peoples and Jackson. Good, good throw by Landry. So Houston picks up the first down. Play covers 19 yards. First and 10. The ball marked to the 32. Houston on the move. They jump offside. Going to cost them five. A couple of players just missed a count. But Landry saying, wait a minute. It was a defensive player that pulled him offside. Erlison in there along with David Rill, inside linebacker, and they say it's going to be against Houston. Yep. So it will cost Houston five yards. Yeoman upset by the play. Coming in the ball game from the sideline for Houston is Ketchum. Comes in at a wide receiver position. Yeah. Now it's first and 15, a ball at the 37. That ball, false start on the offense. Still first down. 104 to play in the first quarter. Washington three and Houston three. Houston 0 and 1 coming into this game, losing 31-24 to Tulsa a couple of weeks ago. Now they've had an extra week to get ready for the ball game. Inside, big hole, breaks the tackle, spins away, and that's Simmons, Michael Simmons. Simmons short of the first down by about four yards, however. This is the inside dive off the option. It might have been a little bit of a trap. I'm not sure it's hard to say, but there was a big hole for Simmons. Good play by Zachary making the tackle from the free safety position. Now it is second and three. The ball at the 25. Just short of the 25. 29 seconds to play here in the first quarter. Hand off on the right side on the option across. With the 22 to the 21, and they'll pick up the first down on the play. That's Sloan Hood in the ball game for the first time. Seven carries for 32 yards a couple of weeks ago. Sloan Hood had 22 carries for 112 yards. Remember him? Okay, against Washington in 1984. I'm not sure they're going to get another play underway. Ketchum comes back in a ball game for Bill Yeoman's football team. 3-3 tie here in the first quarter. Houston taking plenty of time on the line of scrimmage. Landry calls this play in a hurry. This will be the end of the first quarter. The ball now at the Washington 21. Landry going to keep. Pitches to the outside. Simmons breaking tackles and takes it down inside the 10 to the 6-yard line. That was just an excellent play by Landry right here because he's about to get tackled. He almost falls down, and he pitches the ball out here to Simmons. Nobody on him. I don't know what happened to the guy that had pitch responsibility. That Landry's so a good athlete. On the last play of the first quarter, Houston moves into scoring position. Simmons, seven carries for 46 yards. Matt Pearson has six carries for 18 in that Houston backfield. So that's the end of the first quarter. Houston three and Washington three. We welcome you back to Houston. You see the score is tied between Washington and Houston, but the Houston Cougars are in scoring position. They're inside the Washington 10 at the six yard line. They have first down and goal to go. Washington defense trying to dig in. Landry, handoff left side. Simmons fights his way to about the three. So Simmons gets down to the three yard line. It's going to bring up second down goal to go from there. Eight carries for 48 yards for Michael Simmons so far. Looking in that Husky defensive line, Husky defensive huddle. That's real right there. Bo Yates coming back in the ball game. Erlinson also there. Simmons is a pretty impressive player for a second team player. Jim Matthews, the nose guard. This is his first start. Second and goal, just short of the three. 
big pile on the right side. Sloan, Sloan Hood takes the ball down to the two. And it will bring up now third and goal to go from there. They're trying to run the option well, down he keep here. It, I'll tell yeah, you what. Yeah, I missed the ball because I thought the ball went all the way to the two and so did a lot of Huskies and the cameraman as well. Bo Yates made a nice play. Number three. Take the ball out now to the seven. Where it is third and goal to go at the seven. This would be a good time for a blitz. Let's see what they do. No, they didn't do it. Landry to throw. Looks in the corner of the end zone. Has a man open. Touchdown Houston to Michael Simmons. Little swing pass to the outside for Houston. Landry to Michael Simmons, and Simmons was wide open. Watch looks, this. Looks like they were in a man coverage, Bruce, and it looked like Erlinson responsible for covering Simmons, and he was just a little bit slow. One step slow, probably held a little bit by the option fake right there. Yep, that's what happened. Slowed down just a little bit to worry about the dive fake, and then he was a little bit behind Simmons as he came out on the flat to catch the pass. Brown Dyke in to add the extra point. Ball down and the kick is up and good and it's in Houston 10 and Washington 3 with 13.40 to play here in the second quarter. Houston goes 52 yards on nine plays to score in 4.05. Seven yard pass from Landry to Simmons to put the Houston Cougars up by a score of 10 to 3 over the Washington Huskies. And as I mentioned a moment ago, 13.40 to play here in the second quarter. The Huskies still looking for their first touchdown in seven quarters now. This would be the eighth quarter that they haven't scored a touchdown. They were blanked in the second half against Oklahoma State. They got only three points against BYU, and they only three points here in the first quarter against Houston. Brown Dyke to kick it off. Long kick. Going to be taken by Lonzel Hill. He's at the 10, across the 15 to about the 18-yard line. I think that was Franklin, Bruce. Number seven. It was. Daryl Franklin. Yeah. Franklin with the ball out to near the 18-yard line. First and ten for Washington there. Bearden making the stop for the Houston Cougars. Well, the Huskies need to get something going right here on this drive. They need to take it down there and get a touchdown. They, they, they need some confidence both offensively and defensively at this point. Q Millen with his wide receivers put out wide to the right. And it'll be hit on a blitz. That's the big guy, T.J. Turner. T.J. Turner just came crashing through on the right side to down Hugh Millen. And well, nobody the 13 yard him. line. Nobody blocked him at all. It's easy to make a big play when nobody touches you. T.J. Turner. Obviously a mix up in the offensive blocking scheme. Six nobody four, touched him. 281. Huskies lose five on the play. Second and 15. All back at the 13-yard line. Rick Finney bounces off of a tackler and then takes the ball up for about a yard gain to near the 16. And that was Randy Thornton that made the defensive play for the Houston Cougars. It's a good effort by Finney because he gets hit here initially by Harper. A, a fine hit, good play, and Finney just, just lowers his shoulder and, and keeps going. Didn't make a lot of yards, but it was a good effort on his part. Good second effort. Rick Finney so far, three carries for 12 yards in a game. Now third down for Washington. Third and, oh, long 12 at the 15. Millen to throw. Throwing to the outside. Man short of the first down is Daryl Franklin. And a disappointed and disgusted Daryl Franklin because he was very close to the first down marker, but he comes up about a yard short. You don't like to get in those third and 12 situations, but at least by completing the pass for about 10 yards, they, they gained a little bit of field position. And if we can get a good kick here by, by Cleveland, uh, hopefully it'll give Houston a long way to go. Horsby Crenshaw back there along with Larry Shepard. Thane Cleland to kick it for Washington. He's standing back on his third team. The fake kick. Ball to the left side and out of bounds at midfield for Washington is Aaron Jenkins. 
I never thought you'd see a Don James football that's, team do that, huh? That's a, that's a gutsy call at, at this time of the game. Here it is right here. It's a, it's a off the punt, a fake play. They, they snap the ball to Jenkins, who's the up back, the full back in that play. And he, and he made a good yard, good yardage, good game for the first down. Now he ran out of bounds. We could see across the way, but they said his foot ran out, was out of bounds much shorter than that at about the 37 yard line. That's oh. a good call by Don. That's a good job right there. They needed something like that. Washington gets it first and 10 there. Rod Jones in motion to the right. He sets up on the line of scrimmage. Joe Franklin drops off. Millen back to throw. Goes over the middle. Complete to his tailback. Vince Weathersby picks up about three on the play. Robert Harper making the stop for Houston. There's the run off the fake punt. Now he has the first down down. There's Steps where the foot goes out of bounds. Right there. Second and seven for Washington. The ball at the 40. 11.42 to play here in the second quarter. Hugh Millen, former Roosevelt High School star. Rick Finney straight ahead for the first down up across the 50 to the 47 yard line. Takes the ball to the Houston 47. So the Huskies pick up another first down. But you said maybe that little fake punt's going to get a move in here. Well, that, something like that gives you a little spark. Gets you that first down, gets you good field position, gets you enthusiastic, and uh, hey, may, may help him out right here. Get him down, get him some points. First and 10 for Washington at the 47. 11 19 to play. The Houston 47. 11 19 to play here in the second quarter. Up to the outside. Weathersby trips and falls. As he gets back to near midfield, but he'll lose about five on the play. He'll take the ball back to the Washington 48. So Weathersby loses five. Really wasn't much out there anyway. Bill Franklin comes back in the ball game for Washington. Huskies trail 10 to 3 here in the second quarter from Houston. 75 on your screen a moment ago. Mike Sendowski, the red shirt freshman. Millen 4-4 four, four for 34 yards. Zips it to the outside. Is it complete? Great catch at the 30. Excellent catch for Washington at the 30 by Daryl Franklin. Washington's in a three-wide receiver offense. Oh, that was a heck of a catch by Frank. Good throw by Millen also. First and 10 for Washington now on the Houston 30. Miller now five of five for 55 yards. Changes for the Huskies. Mark Larson goes in the ball game. Garth Thomas is out. The left guard position. Rod Jones in motion. Trumbull drops off. Weathersby. Weathersby to the 25. Weathersby to the 23. Vince Weathersby picks up about seven on the play. Little draw play here to Weathersby. Out of the eye formation. This guy's strong. He's not very big, but he watch him right here. Bap, he lowers those shoulders and knocks both those guys back a little bit. He's a tough kid. Tough runner. Weathersby so far, five carries for 24 yards in the ball game. Second and three for Washington. Straight ahead and over the top is Rick Fenney. And he'll pick up the first down as he takes the ball to the 18. So Fenny picks up the first down for Washington. I said Weathersby wasn't very big. He's 5'11", 203. That's pretty good stats. He doesn't look that big. There's so no, many big people out yeah. there. The ball at the 18. The Houston 18. Houston leads it by a score of 10 to 3. We're in the second quarter. The Astrodome in Houston. Crowd quieting down just a little bit. Jones in motion to the left. Gets up the line of scrimmage. Wide receiver on the left side. Pulls back. Four men in the backfield. Weathersby, left side, looking for a block. Runs head on into a defensive player at the 15-yard line. And that's Robert Jones at 6'1", 187. That sophomore out of Blanco, Texas. He's the strong safety. Get us a toss sweep to Weathersby to the left side. Notice number 71, Larson, out in front. They pull that onside guard, the left guard. He gets out in front and blocks down one of the contained people. That, that's tough on those defensive backs when you see that big 6'5", 265-pound offensive lineman coming out there. Ninth play in the drive. Ball at the 15, second and seven. Millen rolling out. Still looking. Tuck it under his arm and run. Hit right at the 15. Takes it just across the 15 near the 14. And 
Q Millen upset with himself that time, and he couldn't pick up more on the play. I'll tell you what he was trying to do here, Bruce. He was trying to hit Feeney in the Finney in the flat. You can't see Finney, but he's in the left side of the screen. He's looking for him, and, and number 21 had, had him covered. They were in a man coverage, so he had to, to pull it down and run. There's Finney right there trying to block. He was the primary receiver on that play in the flat. Greg Purcell from the left corner, who was number 21, up making the play. Hugh Mellon sends on third and seven at the 14. Looks over the middle, throws. It is complete right at the first down marker to Vince Weathersby. And that's very, very close to the marker. And I'm not sure that's first down or not. It's going to be awful close. I think they're going to have to come over and measure this. Excellent protection. Third and seven. I believe he got it. Yep. By about the length of the football. Here's a shot again from the end zone, and you'll see Weathersby keeping his hand on the ball, gets a foot down. Does a good job of staying in bounds, keeping his feet in bounds. So the Huskies have it first and goal to go at the eight. They trail by seven. Miller, long count. Benny. Benny to the goal line and just short of the goal line. He stopped on about uh, the one yard line. Second and goal from the one. Huskies make some changes now as they put, bring in a couple of more tight ends. Benny doesn't look like he's hurt anymore, does he? Certainly doesn't. They said, you know, he was coming back. 80 90 percent this well, he looks 100 percent now they need this guy in their offense this guy's really three stuff. tight ends in the ball game second and goal at the one Fenny left side to the tailback spot he runs into the end zone Washington score so Rick Fenny from the one puts Washington on the scoreboard with 713 to play here in the second quarter. When they go into their goal line offense, they put Finney at tailback and Covington and fullback and Covington number 39 there made an excellent block. Rick Finney finally scores a Washington touchdown. Jager in to add the extra point out of the hole of Chris Chandler. Huskies move 82 yards in 11 plays in 622. Make it 12 plays to score on the one yard run. So Jager now with an opportunity to tie it at 10-10. That little run off the fake punt turned out pretty good, didn't it? Really did. Kicks up. It's good, and it is tied at 10. Washington 10 and Houston 10 with 7.13 to play here in the second quarter. Shot of the touchdown play again. Again, they, in this goal line offense, they put Finney at tailback with Covington, the, another fullback as a lead blocker. They want as much beef and power in that backfield as they can down here in the goal line. Covington does a great job of blocking, as did number 71 Larson leading the play. And a good run by Finney. Good drive by the Huskies. Rick Finney scores. It is tied 10-10. You're looking now at Ketchum in the end zone. He's one of the prior of the kickoff returners, Anthony Ketchum, along with Earl Allen. Jeff Jager, who just tied it at 10. He will kick it off. Washington back in the ball game. First time they scored a touchdown now in eight quarters. And it was very happy Washington bench. Ball down about three yards deep in the end zone. And Houston will put it in play first and 10 at their own 20. So Washington finally getting on the scoreboard with a good drive. And as you had mentioned, Jim, it was the fake punt. And was, I think at that time as we were talking that uh, they needed something. And they got it right then. Number of plays, 12, 82 yards, 622 off the clock. And that one-yard run by Finney. The fake punt seemed to give him a little spark, didn't it? It really did. They needed something. So Landry now faced with trying to move his ball club. Hilton in motion. Landry's going to keep. Cut back. Still on his feet. He gets to the 26. Picks up six yards in the play. It'll bring up now second and four for Houston. Gerald Landry. He's the junior, the two-year letterman out of Beaumont, Texas. He didn't really run with the ball inside that much. You'll see him run to the outside a lot more. He can throw it pretty well. 14 to 25 last where a couple of weeks ago against Tulsa in their opener. This is the home opener for the Houston Cougars. They were the Southwest Conference champions last year and they played in the Cotton Bowl. Hand off on the left hand side. Hit awfully hard was Sloan Hood. Yep. Make it Simmons. Yeah, Bo Yates makes a, a real nice play right here. See him slashing through right there for the play. Reggie Rogers is in good position as is Tony Dominguez. 
It takes time to, to adjust to this option. Uh, you try to get a, a good look in practice, and you just can't get it from a scout team, and you really don't see it as, it as it's really run until game time, and it takes time, especially for a bunch of young linebackers like the Huskies have. Huskies up in that two-down lineman in five linebacker configuration right now. Flip to the outside. It is complete to uh, Larry Shepard. He's knocked out of bounds. Going to be short of the first down marker on third and four. It's going to bring up fourth down for Houston and a Husky defense holds and Houston's going to have to kick it away. Right. That's a good series for the Husky defense. That'll give them a little bit of confidence. Robert Myers standing back now at the 15 to kick for the Houston Cougars with a score tied 10-10. Ron Milas, who has come very, very close last two games, almost blocked by Washington. Milas straight ahead. He's going to take it, tries to break the tackle, tries to spin away. He's still on his feet, fighting at the 40. That's going to be down there. They put the rush on here, and, and Tim Peoples came Scott three through the middle, middle of the line. The score, Washington 10 and Houston 10 with 5.45 to play in the second quarter. We'll be back at the Astrodome right after this. Washington 10, Houston 10. Huskies with the ball now, first and 10 on their own 41. Trying to break a 10 10 tie here. Hugh Millen with a hot hand. He's 6 of 6 for 61 yards so far. Fenny and Weathersby, the running back for Washington. Millen to throw again. Looks back, trying to set up a screen. Gets one block. That's Weathersby still on his feet to about the 43 yard line. Picks up a couple of yards on the play. Got to be second and eight for Washington there. Earl Allen was the man making the stop from the right corner position. He's only 5'9", 181, a senior out of Houston. What the Huskies did here, Bruce, they put both wide receivers on the same side as the tight end on the left side and then off a of play action fake through the screen back to Weathersby, back to the weak side or the short side. Trying to get that Houston defense over shifted. Vince Weathersby. Dorsey High School in Los Angeles. Red shirt, first start at Washington. Weathersby with the football. Ducks underneath. A defensive player makes a fine play as he gets the ball up across the 45 to the 46-yard line. He you know, picks up a couple, but uh, good run. Very, Very good run. A couple of yards. Very good run. It, you know, one of the marks of a, of a good back is how many yards you make after you get hit the first time. And he got hit there back there uh, at the line of scrimmage or behind and still picked up a couple yards. First down at first quarter. Eight first downs for Houston, only two for Washington. See the difference. Dodge rushing 61 to 32. Huskies on the move, however, right now. Facing third. And a long four. Millen to throw. Millen looking. Got a man open. It is Lonzel Hill at the 30 and out of bounds. Mo Hill, an excellent catch on the play. He beats Robert Jones, the free safety on that side. That, that was a great throw by Hugh. Uh, they had their three wide receivers in, and Lonzel was on the outside on the left, on the, on the right side of the screen. Houston was in a two-deep coverage. They stretched the zones. One of the weaknesses of the two-deep is that outside deep zone where he tried to hit him. It's hard for two safeties to cover the width of the field. Franklin comes in for Lonzel Hill. He and Trimble are split out wide to the right. Trimble in motion to the left. Millen, eight for eight now. Pitch back to Weathersby. Away from one tackler and not much there. He gets only a yard on the play and takes the ball to the 29. Make it second and nine at the 29. 4-10 to play here in the second quarter. Washington 10 and Houston 10. As you mentioned, uh, Bruce Millen is hot. He's 8 for 8 for 87 yards. Has a lot of zip on the ball. Very accurate. Getting some time to throw. Looks real good. Bill Yeoman now working with his defense trying to get Washington stopped. Huskies fired up. Tremble in motion left. Up back is Weathersby. Here's Millen. Going to be rushed. Gets the ball away to Weathersby. He's run out of bounds at uh, the 29. Gets the back to the line of scrimmage. Flag goes back way back at the left near midfield. And Hugh Millen points to the defensive player. And that's T.J. Turner. And I think they had a couple of words back there. What they did here again, they're, they're throwing a screen back to Weathersby. They're getting the, the flow going one way, and they're coming back with the screen to Weathersby. And it's working pretty well for them. I think they had a uh, roughing the passer call. And it was back about 20 yards away from the ball. Yeah, he'd thrown it and had a lot of time and uh, got hit late. T.J. Turner. Here it is. Right, right there. Oh, it's right T.J., yeah. 
And here he's going to get rid of the ball. And TJ just keeps right on coming. It's going to finally knock him down. And it's going to cost him some yardage. I think that uh, had, it had TJ, as soon as he got rid of the ball, if he'd laid off of him right there, they wouldn't have called it. But I think he grabbed him and threw him down. And, uh, of course, they're going to try to protect that quarterback. First down for Washington at the um. 19. The Houston 19. And Huskies call timeout as Millen comes over now to talk with Don James, the rest of the coaching staff. 3.35 to go here in the first quarter. Score tied 10-10. Washington against Houston. The Huskies looking for their first win of the year. They open with a loss. You see Bill Yeoman over on the side talking with the, the official, trying to get an explanation of that. And I think you were right, Jim, in saying if he'd have backed away from him just for a moment, tried not to grab him and pull him down, that would have been it. The things the officials look for in roughing the passer is one, if you go for the head, if you hit the quarterback up high above the shoulders in the head area, they're going to throw the flag, or if it's a flagrant late hit. As soon as that ball's gone, all you got to do is pull off a little bit. It really doesn't affect your rush in any way. Mellon brings his team to the line of scrimmage. Ball at the 14. First and 10 at the 14. Rick Spenny trying to break tackle. Spins his way to the seventh. Picks up seven yards on the play. Finney just a load. You know, Rick Finney's a big guy. It's 6'3", 235 out of Snohomish. Now look at this. Bang, he runs right you through know, one there. He's starting wide, then he's cutting back a little bit, and Houston's overrunning the play somewhat, and they're getting a good block there from Soldat and from uh, Garth Thomas. Robert Jones was the guy who finally made the stop on the play. And they send a big guy right up the middle again. And he gets the ball down near the five-yard line. Here they come with their short yardage. They're going to they're gonna put uh, Covington at fullback and uh, Finney at tailback again with the three tight ends in the ballgame. Third and a yard. There's a look at the Astrodome here in Houston. You can see there are a lot of empty seats. Not a lot of people here. And a quiet crowd through the second quarter because Houston hadn't been doing very much. Third and a yard for Washington. Benny, left side, has the first down and a little bit more. Takes the ball across the four. And it should be just good enough for the first down. It's just, this is just power football up the middle, Bruce, with uh, Covington as the lead blocker, the left side of the line, knocking people back, and Finney slamming up and in there for the necessary yardage for a first down. Husky fans over to our left. Not too many of them here. Up a little cheer. So now it is first down, goal to go at the four. Finney, 10 carries for 45 yards in a ball game. Say the 1,300 Husky fans here for the ball game. First down goal to go at the four for Washington. 145 to play here in the second quarter. Millen rolling back. Look, and he's getting chased. He throws into the end zone. Almost picked off. It was intended for Scott Jones, and it was almost picked off by Israel Martin in the end zone. Look at this. A little bootleg action here off the toss sweep. He uh, had Finney and Covington going to the right he faked the toss and came back the other way, looking for the crossing receiver. Good defensive play by Houston. Had it well defended, well covered. Second down, goal to go from the four. 136 to play. Second quarter, 10-10 tie. Fourier tight end in motion left. Rick Fenney, left side, looking for a block. He's at the one and knocked out of bounds there. Say his foot went out at the two. Up there was Kenneth Blunson to knock him out of bounds. Okay, this is the toss sweep play, the one they just faked the, the last play and ran the bootleg from, and here they, they did hand it or, or toss it to Finney. Get a good block by uh, number 68 and by Covington, and close to getting in the end zone. McGuire over to make the play, and an excellent defensive play. Good job by Garth Thomas on that one, leading the way. Third down, goal to go at the two. Big play here, need to get this one in. 131 to play, second quarter. Penny straight ahead. Hits at the line of scrimmage and gets to the one. Well, he picks up about a half a yard in the play, and here comes Jeff Jager. Houston fans, they love it. 
and they're on their feet. Jagger will come in. Washington can't get into the end zone. They stopped three plays inside the five. What you try to do defensively in the goal line is you try to get penetration from your defensive line, and, and offensively you don't want to let them get penetration, and Houston got the penetration that time and tripped up the ball carrier. You can't allow penetration on the goal line or in short yardage situations. Chandler will hold. Jeff Jagger will kick. The ball will be placed down at the nine. 19-yard field goal. Tough angle to the right. Kick is up. And it's good. Drills it to the uprights. And Washington leads Houston by a score of 13 to 10 with 46 seconds to play here in the second quarter. So the Huskies go over and talk to the bench now and uh, try to talk about that offensive series and what they want to do now on this kickoff uh, against Houston and see if they can uh, stop Houston before the half ends. Washington 13, Houston 10, and I had a little surprise that maybe Washington threw in that first play. Were you, Jim? Yeah, I was. I thought they might try to power it right uh, up. I line. was. I thought they'd take three plays uh, trying to run it in, and, and I thought they probably would. They probably would have made it. Eleven plays, they go 57 yards and 501 to get the three points from Jeff Jager. Millen, incidentally, down nine of 11 in the ball game for 88 yards. He had eight straight at one time. Fenny, 12 carries for 48 yards. Huskies leading 13 to 10. The rally squad. Halftime entertainment here with the Houston band coming up. We got a special guest coming up at halftime for you in just a moment. Anthony Ketchum, Earl Allen back in the end zone as Jager's set to kick it off. But 46 seconds to play here in the half. High, long kick. Back, back corner of the end zone where Ketchum takes the ball and Houston will put it in play first and 10 at their own 20. Good kick that time by Jeff Jager. There you see, Huskies run 5-0-1 off the clock. They'd love to have a touchdown right then, but they settled for the three, and they lead it by a score of 13 to 10. They are moving the ball, Bruce. They're doing a good job running the football, mixing up their calls. So Houston comes to the line of scrimmage now, knowing the time's running out here in the first half. Landry looking over his football team. He's going to keep. Could have been a broken play. Trying to run to the outside. He picks up four on the play and takes it out to 24 before he's run out of bounds. I was kind of Second interested to, to see if they would, you know, try to put it in the air and get something out of this drive or if they just were content to uh, keep it on the ground and uh, go in at halftime down 13-10. That did, did look like a busted play, though. 40 seconds to go. Gettings comes in with the play. He splits out wide to the left. Simmons and Pearson are running back. Landry cuts it inside. Good run by Landry. Dominguez hits him there. Takes the ball across the 30 to the 32. Picks up the first down. You see, Osprey, again, you get that defense running for that pitch man, running for that sideline. You have a tendency to over pursue. Right there, Tony Dominguez, who has the quarterback responsibility, makes a fine play. Had a lead blocker on him. He shed the blocker and made the play on the quarterback. Washington's got a player down at the 34. And it could be Might Tony be Dominguez. Dominguez, yeah. Landry, seven rushes for 10 yards so far in the ballgame. And it is Dominguez who is down. He's down at about the, the 32. They're looking in the Houston huddle right now. They trail by a score of 13 to 10. Here's Harry Sloan on the sideline. The defense you saw it in that uh, last play how they quickly recovered to get to the ball comfortable is the word Skip Hall used in how they're beginning to feel now uh, against this uh, option uh, Dominguez is still down at this hour now he says that if we can just uh, pound 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 the big play will come the turnover will come and so that's what they're looking for right now now that they think they have the option figured out right now they're attending to Tony Dominguez he's down he's been a big play guy so far this game hopefully he'll be all right Bruce back up to you. Yeah, Houston now facing first and 10 at the 32, their own 32, with exactly 32 seconds to play here in the half. And it's hard to say what it was. He's leaning over, as you see, as he comes off the field. So Dominguez is helped to the sideline. There he is. And uh, Dennis Seeley on the left, the Husky trainer. So the big guy, Tony Dominguez, comes to the sideline. 
out of Portland, Oregon, 6'4", 220, and he's played a heck of a football game so far for Washington. Andy Fuimaona goes back in. He's the nose guard, and he will play in place of Dominguez because they've been running with two down linemen quite a bit of the ball game and five linebackers, five young linebackers. So here we go. First and 10 out to 32 for Houston. Clock running. Landry back. Looking to throw. Almost hit. Gets away. Still on his feet. Going to run. Landry trying to break tackles. He breaks another one. He only picks up seven yards on the play, but an exciting seven yards. I think this is going to be the last play of the half. He's up a second down. Well, they had nine seconds left from the clock, and they were trying to get the easy touchdown here. Hadley's got good pressure on him, flushes him out of the pocket, and then you'll see Steve Albert here pursuing down the line and has a shot at him, doesn't quite get him, and Landry ends up running the football. They were going for the touch. Well, the, the irony of the thing is, you know, they're both out of. We were offside in the punt, and uh, we are offside on the third down, and we stopped it. Again, I, we're playing better football. We, we're looking more like a football team if we can just come out and... Uh, we got to fight hard for 30 more minutes. Rick Benny has made a difference in their offensive look. There's no question about it, and uh, both he and Vince Weathersby are really running hard. And defensively, you've shut down the option game a bit. Well, it's not over. They're, they're still very exciting, and they're, they're very quick, and we've got our work cut out. Okay, Don, we'll let you get to the dressing Thank room you. and visit with the club. Thanks for being here. All right, Don James on the sideline, uh, seemingly a little worried, but his team seemed to be responding right now and should come out in the second half ready for action. Bruce, back up to you. Thank you, Harry. Down there with Keith Shipman from KOMO Radio with Don James here at halftime. The Astrodome in Houston. The score, it is Washington 13 and Houston 10. We'll be back right after this timeout. We welcome you back to the Astrodome in Houston, where Washington leads the Houston Cougars at halftime by a score of 13 to 10. Been a very interesting first half, and we have what I think is a very interesting halftime guest. And if you're a Washington football fan, you will know this man sitting next to me, even though he lives in Houston, Jim Owens, who is the head football coach, athletic director of Washington, head coach for 18 years. Must be fun for you to get down here with all these Houston fans and look around and say, I'm a Husky. What do you think of that first half? Oh, I really liked it. I think everybody here, all the fans, uh, we're really excited about the way uh, the team's playing. Uh, real pleased that the offense is moving well and uh, we're playing tougher defense and uh, I just think uh, it's been real exciting and thank goodness we're ahead I'd like to have had that touchdown right there before the halftime at least we got three out of it we we're talking during the game we said that fake punt really seemed to turn that offense around didn't it I think so I think that was the key play we needed a big boost and uh, it was a tough call to make but an excellent call and uh, that really got us rolling I think you still sit there and kind of think like a coach when you're watching this game, huh? Oh, a little bit. My son Steve and I are here, and uh, we talk back and forth what uh, we hope they'll do, and sometimes we're right, sometimes we're wrong, but uh, I don't, I certainly don't try to coach it. I just enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Husky fans have asked me, you know, what are you doing here in Houston? What's oh. Jim Owens doing here? Well, our company uh, owns uh, offshore drilling rigs, and uh, we're, we have 11 of them out in the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, fortunately right now we have all of them working, and uh, our headquarters are here in Houston, and so with things slower for us, at least in Alaska and California, it just worked out better for me to, to be down here in the home office and help out down here. So we're enjoying it a lot. Jim, thank you very much for coming by, and best of luck to you down here in this cougar country and all this hot and the heat and everything else. Well, that's true. I want to be sure and say hello to all our, uh, Martha and I, all our Northwest uh, friends, and particularly all my former uh, athletes that uh, I still think a lot about. Jim, thank you very much. Right. Jim Owens, ex-Husky football coach, there for 18 years. Nice to see you again, Jim. Thank you, Bert. Okay, score at halftime. It is 13 to 10. Let's go to the highlights right now of that first half. Jim Moore, come on in here, and we'll talk about this. As you see the band on the field from Houston. Now, Houston on the move in the first drive. Landry back to throw. And a big play here early because he's going to get pass interference called against Washington on the play. And it's going to give Houston a chance to get some points on the scoreboard. She said pretty good call. Yeah, I thought it was a good call. You know, as I watched it here the second time, though, I don't think it was quite as good as, I, as it appeared early. But uh, this sets up their, their field goal here. Brown Dyke kicks the field goal to give Houston an early lead in the ball game by a score of 3 to nothing and a 42-yard field goal. Houston fans loving this here. But Washington is going to come back and get a field goal. Chandler the hole, Jager the kick, and Washington will tie it at a score of 3-3 in the first quarter. And that's the way the first quarter ended here in the Astrodome in Houston tonight. But Houston gets moving again. Here is Gerald Landry. Little guy is awful quick. Throws into the corner of the end zone and a touchdown, as you see. And Houston now leads it by a score of 10 to 3. That's a pretty good play on the goal line. It's a tough play to defend because uh, the option fake holds the linebacker who's responsible for covering the running back coming out of the backfield. 
Big play for Washington. They had fourth and a couple of yards, and Aaron Jenkins on a fake punt runs it for first down, and that got the Washington offense moving. And you see Rick Fenney out of the tailback position. Big guy from Snohomish just bulls his way around the left side and takes it into the end zone. You get Washington on the scoreboard. The Huskies add another field goal by Jager, and they lead here at halftime by a score of 13 to 10. It has been really a pretty good football game. It's good to see a Washington football team come back and play a little bit better than they have over the last two games and finally get a touchdown because they had gone seven quarters and into the eighth quarter before they had scored. So Washington leads it now by a score of 13 to 10 before not the biggest crowd in the world you're ever going to see here. There are about 1,300 Husky fans, as we'd mentioned, at the Astrodome in Houston. You're now looking at the Houston band on the field. And it's been a very enjoyable evening, even though it has taken a while for this game to get underway. As you know, the game was delayed a half hour simply because of a baseball game. The Houston Astros played this afternoon against the Cincinnati Reds. And if that game would have gone on into extra innings, you weren't sure really what time we were going to be on. The record here for a football game starting that was scheduled and underway at 7 was 11.30 at night. This one got underway at 7.30 tonight here in Houston, which was 5.30 your time. Couple the second half of the Washington-Houston game right after this. Just a reminder, this broadcast is brought to you in part by Mountain Fresh Rainier and Rainier Light, your best defense against thirst. Houston to kick it off for Washington, to Washington here to start the second half. Huskies leading by a score of 13 to 10. We're in the Astrodome in Houston. We hope you're enjoying the broadcast of this game across the state of Washington. Chip Browndike will kick it off. Standing back deep for Washington. On the goal line. We've got Lonzel Hill is back there. And David Trimble. Trimble's going to take the ball on the one. Comes up the far side. Trimble still on his feet. Looking for some daylight. Breaks the tackle. He's across the 34 to the 30, near the 35. Marking on the 34-yard line. So Don James talking with his quarterback right now, Hugh Millen, and here comes Washington to put it in play for the first time in the second half. Interesting, Jim, to see what Washington does. If they make any changes, any subtle changes to start that second half. Rod Jones in there, number 84, as you see. I kind of doubt that they will, Bruce. They've had good success running the football, and Hughes made some excellent throws. I think they'll stick with what they're doing. Been working pretty good. Trimble out far to the left. Weathersby up in the eye. Straight ahead to Rick Finney. Takes three people to finally slow him down and push him back after he picks up three yards on the play. Second and seven for Washington. You might see Houston making a few adjustments because they had a tough time that first half. Rick Finney just powering his way up the middle. Finney looks good. 12 carries for 46 yards in the ballgame so far for the big guy out of Snohomish. And what a difference it is having him back. Hugh Mellon, eight of ten. Rod Jones in motion to the left, and he gets up at the line. Trimble drops off. Four guys in the back here. Here comes Millen. Time to throw. It is complete to Jones, just short of the first down. Jones has the ball at the 44-yard line, just short of the first down marker. So it's going to bring up now Washington third and, oh, about one. Kevin Alexander over there defensively for Houston. They put the three tight ends in the ballgame for Washington now. Second half just underway. Millen's going to go over and talk to uh, the official. This is very, very close to a first down. Just about, as you see, well, what about, about three, four inches, something like that. Millen looks over to the sideline of the Washington bench, getting in some instructions. Obviously, Washington will go for it on third down. No reason for them not to, but they're going to decide exactly what they're going to do. Third, just a couple of inches. I'd put my money on Finney. Think so? <laughs> Scott Jones comes into the ball game. Fourier's in the ballgame, another tight end. Three tight ends in the ballgame for Washington in a situation like this. Finney now lines up at the tailback position. Finney might sneak it. 75. Zandowski in red shirt, freshman over there. The right offensive tackle position for Kevin Goch. Fourier, man yeah. in motion. Your good call, Jim. Well, I said Phineas might sneak it out. <laughs> I met Mellon. We know who you meant on that one. They're not going to take a chance, put it straight ahead. They take the ball to the 45 and pick up the first down. So Huskies have a first down. The first first down here of the second half. 
Bill Yeoman, your team trails 13 to 10. We mentioned start of the broadcast. Houston is 12 and 4 against non-conference teams here in the Astrodome. First and 10 for Washington. The Husky 45. The wide receivers put out wide to the left. Lonzel Hill number one. David Trimble 23. Houston almost offside. Benny straight ahead and gets maybe a yard on the play. A lot of people there on the left side of the line led by Eddie Gilmore number 94. He's a big kid at 6'2", 300, senior out of Houston. Blunston also there. 13-31 to play in the third quarter. Washington leading at 13-10 over the Houston Cougars. Huskies played in the Orange Bowl last year and they defeated Oklahoma. Houston was in the Cotton Bowl and they lost to Boston College. Rick Fenney, 13 carries for 47 yards in the ball game so far. Second and nine for Washington. Here comes Miller. Time to throw. Throwing to Fenney. Makes a good catch. Dances down the sideline and is finally knocked down at the 33 yard line. Rick Fenney with just an outstanding run after he caught the pass. Randy Thornton knocked him out of bounds. Little, Watch this. Some bootleg action here by Millen. I think he was initially looking for Trimble, who was down deep, but saw Finney wide open in the flat and threw it out to him. Good effort here by, by Finney of staying in bounds and then getting some extra yards after he got hit initially. Is he strong or not? Ball at the 33. First and 10 for Washington there. 12.51 to play in the third quarter. Huskies lead at 13 to 10. Vince Weathersby. Who wrestled to the ground just across the line of scrimmage going to pick up maybe a yard on the play and that was T.J. Turner leading the charge 6'4", 281 an All-American for the Houston Cougars Vince Weathersby having a big night even though the stats don't look that way eight carries 29 yards but you know he's had five catches for 31 yards in the first half though Bruce so to combine the rushing and the catching he's had a pretty good evening there you're looking at T.J. number 95 Millen to throw, second and nine. In and out of the hands of Vince Weathersby, trying to catch it on the sideline. Close to the first down marker. So it's going to bring up third and nine at the 32, with 12.06 to play here in the third quarter. Joe Franklin comes back in the ball game. Rod Jones goes out. Huskies now have three wide receivers in the ball game. Houston putting in an extra defensive back. Trimble and Franklin go out wide to the right to the top of your screen, and that's David Trimble to play in the Toronto Blue Jay Baseball Organization. Millen to throw. Lux throws complete and out of bounds. Great catch by Lonzel Hill. Good for the first down. Good throw by Millen. Good catch by Hill. Ball will be marked at the 18. Lonzel Hill's an outstanding wide receiver. Yes, he is. Great athlete. You know, they had uh, Turner lined up over Burnham that time, and Burnham did an excellent job of pass protecting on their great defensive lineman, uh, Turner. First and 10 for Washington at the 18. Rick Finney straight ahead. Carries tacklers with him down to the 7. Another Washington first down as he picks up 11 yards. Big that, hole up the middle. That, that's just great blocking by the, by the center and both guards, uh, Thomas and uh, Burnham and Agan. Oh, it's a trap here. Okay. Just good play. Burnham, 78. Garth Thomas was 68. Dan Agan, 57, the center. Got the Huskies first and goal to go at the seven. Middle looks. Lobs it in the corner of the end zone. Intended for David Trimble and just misses him in that dirt of the infield. They play baseball here in the Astrodome, and when they set up the field, this was a baseball game this afternoon, as you see, there is dirt over there in the corner, both the right and the left corner. Huskies make some changes now. Weathersby comes out of the ball game. Trimble comes out. Two tight ends go back in the game. I think they got uh, and they got their three tight ends. Yeah. And Covington in the ball game. Right. And they got Rick Benny up now as the tailback. Second goal to go at the seven. Fenny, left side to the five. Flags fly as he gets to the five and picks up three. Mm, uh, short of the five, close to three yards. 
This is a quick toss to Finney. The Houston defense does an excellent job here. They get a lot of people to the football. Finney's trying to get that extra yardage, but they get about seven or eight guys in on the tackle. Good job of gang tackling and knocking him back. He takes the ball down to the five-yard line, but uh, they're going to bring it back, as you'll see, because of an infraction against the Huskies. There's Don James. I don't think he ever smiles on the bench, does he? You've been I've never seen him. No, I've never not, seen him. Not He'll smile after the game if he wins. Okay. We'll have this penalty for you in just a second. Here's Harry on the sideline. James has got his game face on, but his players, they're smiling right now. They know that they're moving. This dirt on the infield, by the way, is not very solid. It's real loose, so you go from that astroturf to the dirt, and you're going to lose your footing. It's tough. Luckily, uh, Finney just uh, landed in it now because he took a good pounding on that last play and needed a soft cushion to land on. Coming up to the line of scrimmage now. Back to you, Bruce. Holding against Washington. That's five penalty penalties in the game for 40 yards. Ball comes back out to the 17. Millen to throw. Look, he's got two receivers there. And in Weathersby, and also Lonzel Hill, and through the hands of both of them. So now it's going to bring up third down. Well, he had Weathersby and Hill both in the same area, and I don't know who he was throwing to. Probably, well, I'd have to guess Hill. But uh, Weathersby thought it was coming to him, and he jumped up in front of him and, uh, and hurt uh, Hill's view of the ball. Third down, goal to go for Washington. The ball in the Houston 17 with 11-18 to play here in the third quarter, and Washington leading 13-10. Millen, 11 of 16 for 129 yards in the game, as you see. He's had the hot hand. Cool off a little here in the second half. Looks, stands in, throws back in the corner of the end zone. Oh, that he no, incomplete. Daryl Franklin just made a great catch of the ball in the back of the end zone. But by the time he controlled the football, he was out of the end zone. So Washington now will attempt to field goal. Here it is again. He's trying to hit Franklin over the middle. He looks one way, then he comes back to Franklin over the middle. Franklin, as you say, Bruce, made a great catch, but the referee signaled that he did not have possession when he crossed the end line right there, and I think it was a pretty good call. It was close, really close. Excellent effort on Franklin's part. Ball at the 25, 35-yard field goal by Jeff Jager. Long kick, looks good, and it is. Washington scores on a 35-yard field goal to start the second half. So with 11.08 to play here in the third quarter, it is Washington 16 and Houston 10. There's the Washington scoring drive, 49 yards and 11 plays, 352 to start the second half. Jager, they say officially now, a 34-yard field goal. Interesting so far for Washington. They've just done an excellent job defensively against the big tight end Carl Hilton. He had eight catches for 94 yards a couple of weeks ago against Tulsa, but I'll tell you, he has just been stifled here in this football game so far. So the Huskies doing a good job against him. He hadn't caught a pass yet. Jager to kick it off. Ketchum and Allen standing back on the goal line for Houston. Good high kick. Well, Allen gets in front of him, takes the football. Cuts to the left side. Still going. Allen gets across the 22. The 23-yard line with a market first and 10 for Houston there. So the Cougars have put it in play. Huskies defensively right now. Jimmy Matthews goes back in the ball game. Andy Fui Maono is back there as well. Reggie Rogers is in the game and that defensive line for Washington. They make those shifts. Interesting. Matthews making his first start at Washington. Andy Fui Maono his first start, and they're playing pretty well. Yes, they are. They're doing a good job. And like uh, Harry said earlier, you know, it takes a little time to get comfortable with that uh, option game, and I, th I think they're a lot more comfortable now than they were earlier in the game. Pearson in the ball game, along with Simmons. Shepard in motion. Pearson on the left side, and, oh, he doesn't get much. Well, that was extremely well played by the right side, the whole right side of the Washington defense, especially, watch Erlinson number 46 out here. He's got quarterback responsibility. He scrapes on out, has a quarterback, and then worked right on out to the pitch. Good job by Erlinson. Second and eight, they pick up only two. The ball at the 25. Big rush by Reggie Rogers. Goes the football and it's going to be incomplete. And Reggie was all over. Reggie and Andy Fuimaono were back there. 
you watch it here again. What he was looking for, see, he faked the option. He was looking back to hit Giddings on the right side of your screen. You can't see him. He was trying to hit Giddings deep, and he was covered, so he was looking for another receiver. Ooh, 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 ooh. Very close to a face mask. Guess what they figure with Reggie. He got just to the edge of the face mask and took his hand off. Give him another one of those penalties on second down. You stand to shake your head about yeah. it. Yeah. Silly mistake. Brings third down now. Landry, four of eight for 45. Pass it. Back to throw again. Landry looking, looking. Plenty of time. Going to run with it now. It's going to be hit from behind as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. And he's still going to come up seven yards short of the first down. The, the, this is an excellent job by the by the secondary people at the, for the Washington defense. Landry had nobody to throw to. Everybody was tightly covered in man coverage. Great job by the defense. Bo Yates, number three, at 11 in Oregon. Outside linebacker comes in to make the play from the backside. So Robert Myers to kick it away. Ron Milas standing on his own 30. Big rush by Washington. They have come so close. Now Milas might have a chance. Trying to cut it back to the outside. Going to be hemmed in and knocked down at the 39. You know, this punt return team said we're going to get one in this football game. And uh, they keep coming closer and closer all the time. One break there, and who knows, they might have been able to run that one back. So with 10.06 to play here in third quarter from Houston, Texas, it is Washington 16 and Houston 10. You're looking at Rick Fenney, who already has a touchdown, Washington's only touchdown in the ball game. And Fenny in the game, 14 carries for 58 yards. He was resting that ankle just a moment ago, and they're putting some more tape on it. Let's we'll see if he can get back in a football game. Huskies have it. First and 10 now for Rome 39. Covington in the ball game for Fenny. Outside to good run. Picks up good uh, yardage there as Weathersby. That's Weathersby. And he gets about about five on the play. Make it second and five with the ball now at the 44-yard line of Washington 44. Washington leading 16 to 10. Benny is still on the sideline. Hugh Millen directing the Washington attack. Tony Covington spinning away from tacklers. Finally knocked down after he picks up the first down in Houston territory at the 47-yard line. This is a run, run, real good run by coming a big hole in the middle of the line. We see got a flag. A, yeah, we got a flag by the referee. It could be holding on the Huskies. And that flag came back way back at about the 33-yard line. And it's going to be a five-yard penalty against Washington, and it will take the ball back to the 44. Might have been. Yeah, no, they're going to march it off right there. Back to the 39-yard line. Back to the original line of scrimmage. Illegal motion on the white. Still second down. Second down. Illegal procedure against Washington on the play. So the ball goes back to the 39 and it becomes second and 10 with 9.29 to play here in the third quarter in Houston. Covington and Weathersby are the running backs. A couple of red shirts. Yellow looks in. Throws incomplete. It's intended for... Lonzel Hill just missed him. So Millen, who had it eight straight passes completed early in the ball game, has cooled off just a little bit now. And uh, here's Harry Sloan with an update on Rick Fenney. As you might expect, Bruce, that ankle that he sprained against Oklahoma State is real sore right now. Dennis Seely retaped it. He's up walking now and should be back in with the next series. He says, I'm okay, it's sore, but I'll go. Third and ten for Washington at their own 39, leading 16 to 10. Trimble in motion. Dylan throw. Dropped it to Trimble and he drops the ball. David Trimble, I think, just took his eye off the football and just dropped it. He was looking up the field. Houston was faking a blitz on this and then they uh, dropped off. And you see the linebacker there trying to pick up Trimble on a crossing route. Trimble just ran right by him, just took his eyes off the ball and tried to run a little bit too quick. So fourth down for Washington, and Thane Cleland will go back to his own 24 and try to kick it away. Not too much of a rush. Long, booming kick. What a hit. What a hit for Washington on the play. 
Larry Shepard back there along with Orsby Crenshaw for Houston and a great hit for Washington and they'll put it in play first and 10. Houston will of their own 23 and we'll be back at the Astrodome right after this. Back to the Astrodome in Houston. Washington 16, Houston 10, Houston with the ball now. First and 10 at their own 22. And up straight ahead. Spinning, driving. That's Simmons. Simmons picks up. Make it four on the play. Second and six. And yeah, we'll move it out to five. Make it uh, second and five. Arizona defeating California, if you haven't heard, 23-17 earlier today. Oregon, big win over Stanford, 45-28. They're a good football team. They really are. Baylor leads USC 10-7 in the third quarter. Second and five, ball at the 27. Shepard in motion. Landry, pitch one. Simmons. Simmons is going to be close to the first down marker. He's run out of bounds just short of the 35-yard line. This is uh, Landry coming down the line of scrimmage on the option. They've got good blocking there. They crack back down on the linebacker. Peoples comes off the block, makes a nice play. Tim Peoples making a play, and he got some help on the backside that time as well. Tony Dabenkis, who is sideline, you know, he's back in the ball game and back out there. There's nothing really serious, so he's playing. It is now first and 10 at the 34, however, for Houston. They trail 16 to 10 with 8.07 to play here in the third quarter. Shepard in motion to the top of your screen. It was an offside. I'm not sure it wasn't the center that didn't jump offside. It was at the right guard. The right William guard, I Gant, yeah. Redshirt freshman out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. 6'2", 270. So it's going to cost them five yards. And they'll move the ball now back to the Houston 29. He just missed the count sometimes. That right guard will go back, and he said, I thought you said it was on one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. First and 15, I believe, back at the 29. He's saying, wait, was it second down or is it first down? Well, it's only first down. That's right. Dead ball. Only first Fault down. start on the offense. Still first down. The referee, incidentally, is Frank Shepard out of the Southwest Conference. Houston football. First and 15 at the 29. Shepard in motion. Bad hit. Ball still loose. Washington will recover. Huskies have the football. And that was David Rill going to make the stop. David Rill making the stop for Washington on the play as he recovers the ball. Watch Rill. Left side of your screen, number 38. Now there's Somebody the got it. Was that Rill got his hand on it? No, number three. Bo Yates got his hand on the pitch. And he misses it, and then Real gets the fumble. I think Bo got his hand on it there. I think another look at it right here. Here comes Landry with the ball. Right. Now, yeah, he did. I think he did. Yeah, he got his hand on it. Bo Yates gets his hand on the football, and Washington recovers a fumble. Could be a big play of the ball game. Well, Bo did a good job there of taking the quarterback out of the play so that Real could recover it. David Real making the recovery for Washington. Huskies have it first and 10 at the Houston 18. Benny back in the ball game. Hit as he gets to the line of scrimmage and push back for a yard. I say his forward motion took him to the line of scrimmage. Kevin Alexander from Corpus Christi, the two-year letterman senior, he didn't play a couple of weeks ago, back in the lineup, playing well. Coach Hall's got a smile on his face now for that turnover. Had <laughs> one. He's his first turnover of the game, I think, isn't it? It is. First turnover in the ball game. Millen, four of ten here in the third quarter for 47 yards. Benny hit hard again. He gets to the line of scrimmage. And boy, they're just teeing off on Rick Fenny right now. Eddie Gilmore. This was Gilmore. Guy. Yeah, Gilmore, the nose tackle, and Turner, number 95. Their All-American left tackle made the play. First of all, it was Gilmore. Gilmore's 300 pounds. He's tough to move out of that middle. They sometimes worry about him being guy. in shape. He looks that like right? that guy for the Bears. What's his name? <laughs> uh, big guy from Clemson. Oh, yeah, the refrigerator. The refrigerator, yeah. 16 carries for Fenny for 57 yards so far in the ballgame. Huskies face now a third and 11 at the 19. Two plays have lost a yard. Rod Jones in motion. Daryl Franklin drops back. Flag goes down. Big rush by Houston. They sack Hugh Millen back at the 32. But a flag went down far down the field before the play even broke. Houston's blitzing on the play. They brought, brought two linebackers right up the middle. I think that was Purcell. Greg Purcell was the yeah. first guy to hit him. I think there might have been a uh, delay of game penalty. Too much I think time. there was, too. And I think the ball's going to come back. We'll see. Delay of game. And the play was whistled dead before it ever was 
the ball was ever snapped, I think. Well, no, I'm wrong. Well, it was, and then, yeah. and then what they'll do is give you a five-yard penalty. That's what it is, obviously. Dead ball, delay of game on the offense, still third down. I believe that uh, Hugh was trying to uh, audibleize on that play. It looked like he was looking out to either side of the receivers to audibleize. He took just a little bit too much time. Seven penalties for Washington, 50 yards so far in the ball game. Franklin's put out wide to the left. 30 16 at the 23. Millen back to throw. Stands in. Hit. Just as he throws the ball, and for the third time in a row, somebody dropped it. And that was Lonzel Hill. And the pressure from Kenneth Blunston. Uh, it, it got pretty good coverage, and, and Millen can't find anybody open there. Finally, he finds uh, Hill open, and he, and he throws him a good pass. He just dropped it. Like you say, here it is again. A lot of time, a lot of time. Now, Millen's going to be hit just as he gets rid of the football. Yeah, it should have been caught, though. Hill should have had that one. That was Blunston. Yeah. So Jagger in to kick a field goal. This was going to be marked down on the 31, so it'd be a 41-yard field goal. He has three already. He's three for three. Ball down. It's long enough. And it's good. And Jagger four for four. Give Washington a 19 to 10 lead. For Washington 19 and Houston 10. And I know the Huskies, after recovering that fumble at the 18, obviously would love to have gone into the end zone with it. Husky fans, they're enjoying it here as they lead 19 to 10. Houston defense, they defense Washington very well. I mean, they knew that they were going to go to Rick Fenney, and Fenney just uh, couldn't get any yardage. Here's Jager kicking the ball. You see the reaction. Is it good? Yes, it's good. And you know Jeff Jager, who's only a junior, could become the all-time leading scorer in Washington before he graduated. He's got an extremely strong leg. Most of his kickoffs have been in or close to being out of the end zone, and when he kicks a field goal, he clears it by a long way. Three plays for Washington on the scoring drive, as you see, minus six yards. But it took him a long time to do it. 41-yard field goal by Jeff Jager. And Washington leads it now by a score of 19 to 10. Husky fans are on their feet. They're enjoying this. Husky rally squad down here. Houston band playing across the way. A lot of Houston fans here. It's interesting to go to a football game. You know, so used to Husky Stadium where the place is sold out all the time and you get through the Pac-10 and most of those games are sold out as well. And you look here and there are empty seats everywhere and, and uh, there's not the excitement here in Houston as you will find in Seattle. No question about that, but there is not a great college town as you would say Houston will down the ball five yards deep in the end zone and that's catch him and they'll take over first and ten at their own 20. So Houston trailing by nine trying to get something going here in the third quarter with 614 to go. Well the Husky defense did a good job in the last series. Let's see if they can do it again. They've got uh, they've got Houston backed up starting out on their own 20 and if they can hold them here in three downs I think it'll give them a big boost. Running back, Pearson and Simmons for Houston. Here comes Landry. He's looking to throw. Intended for Shepard, and it was incomplete, as you see. Vesty Jackson, a corner over there defending for Washington. Shepard so far in a ball game for uh, Houston. Has two catches for 22 yards, but still very interesting that their big tight end, Carl Hilton, so far has been shut out. That's amazing. Yeah, Isn't that last incredible? Week, two weeks ago he got eight. Yeah. For 94 yards, I believe, and uh, hadn't caught a one tonight. Well, that's a surprise. That's really a surprise. Landry back to throw again. Throws to the outside. Incomplete. That intended for Shepard as well. Interesting to keep throwing to Shepard. Yeah, situation. he's looking for Shepard. Shepard, he's got a lot of time there on that one. Shepard runs about a 15-yard deep out pattern, and he's, he's open, but uh, Landry was low on the pass, just as he was the time before on the pass. He's, he's throwing the ball a little bit into the, into the dirt, into the turf. You know, we're talking about Carl Hilton. Well, the Huskies shut him down last year, too. Only had two catches in Seattle for 21 yards in that ball game. There's a big enough target, 6 4 2 Third and 10. Landry in trouble, going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage. And down to the 17, make it 16-yard line. And again, Bo Yates was the man. Watch number three. It's Hadley, 59. Hadley's got pretty good pressure. Uh, actually, uh, Real was the guy coming from the outside, David the Real. right side, that put the initial pressure on him and got the first hit. But Bo Yates was the guy who finally got him. 
for the Huskies now, forcing Houston to kick it away. Robert Myers standing back on his own goal line. Looking for a run back. Miles, plenty of room to run this time. Looking for a seam. Will he get it? No, he is getting good coverage. It's a 48-yard line of Washington, and the Huskies will take over there. Here's Harry Sloan. Bruce, just an injury update. Garth Thomas, the left guard, will miss the rest of the game. He's got a thigh bruise that continues to act up, and so he will be out of action for the rest of the way. Garth Thomas from Redmond High School, one-year letterman. So Mark Larson will be in to replace him. There's some Husky fans. They've had a lot of fun. I know a lot of them are on the pool today because it was 90 degrees and about 90% humidity here today. Possibility of a thunderstorm in the area tonight. First and 10 for Washington. Drone 48. Weathersby for 10 yards and a Washington first down. Vince Weathersby continues to run well. Weathersby is a very, very hard runner, very aggressive slashing upfield runner. He's not a dancer, but he gets that positive yardage. Nine carries for 39 yards. That Husky offensive line are doing a good job. They're playing very well tonight. Weathersby and Fenny the running back. Millen to throw. Look, throw to the outside. In and out of the hands of the attended receiver again. <laughs> That's Daryl Franklin. Now, I'll tell you, Millen has to go back to that huddle and look at those guys and say, wait a minute, can somebody catch the football? Millen runs an out, or uh, Franklin runs the out. Oh, he should have had that one. He sure should have. Should have had that one. Maybe they're not used to catching indoors. Maybe that's what it is. Millen, four for 12 here in the third quarter. And he was eight of 10 in the first quarter, in the first half. Must be now second and 10. 42. Draw. Weathersby spins his way and fights his way to the 30-yard line on a Washington first down. Vince Weathersby picks up 12 yards on the play. Uh, that's a great run by Weathersby. He had a little opening here to run, but it looks to me like right there, a guy had a chance to get right there, number one. Oh, he got him down finally. G good slashing run by Weathersby up the middle. He's averaging 5.1 yards a carry. 10 carries at six catches for 36 yards so far in the ball game. Huskies have it first and 10 now at the Houston 30. Washington dominating play here in the second half. Nothing to the outside. In fact, they're going to lose a couple of yards. T.J. Turner, they couldn't block him away. Weathersby loses a couple. Takes the ball now back to the 32, almost the 33. So it'll be second, and they're saying second and 12 now at the 32 with 419 to play. They're throwing something into the stands. What are those footballs? Little white footballs they're throwing into the stands. There you see, Houston Rally Squad said, we got to get this crowd doing something because it's a little dull here. Washington's dominating play. Millen back to throw. Standing in the dirt. Finally throw. Ooh. Rod Jones can't hang on to the football. And that's about the fifth one in a row that somebody's dropped. Now that was thrown just a little bit high, but here it is again. He'll stand in here and get Good job from his offensive line. You know the guy's doing a good job. There's Osandowski's doing a good job for playing his first game ever and been having a block first that start ever. Yes, that Turner. He's uh, done an excellent job on he him. Really has. Mike Sandowski, right tackle number 75. You keep an eye on him. Redshirt freshman out of Corvallis. 78. Tim Burnham. Third and 12 at the 30. 32. Six straight passes. Millen's missed on. There's a rush. Throws it into the ground. Flag flies. And they'll say he intentionally threw the ball away. The ground of football. And that's a loss of down. Sure is. Now they had a blitz on here and nobody picked up the blitzing linebacker number 56. That's Glenn Montgomery. Here it is. And you see Montgomery is right in his face and there's nothing he can do. Or rather around his ankle. Oh, he was on him too quick. So Washington now is going to have to kick the ball away. And for the Huskies, Fane Cleland will be the Washington's had excellent field position, and they've really only been able to get a field goal out of it. That's right. So Houston can look back on that and say, we're playing defensively pretty well. Armstrong well, Crenshaw is the only guy back now. Jones goes back to help him out a little bit. Here's the kick. A high kick. Crenshaw's going to let it bounce. Washington's going to try to down it, and they do at the five. 
Huskies down it inside the five. They'll mark it at four. So Houston will have to put it in play there. And I, that's one of the things about a special team. You know, if you can get a play like this, they played it very well. They played it extremely well. This is what you try to do when you don't have a long kick. You know, if you can get the ball down inside the 10 or inside the 5 or kick it out of bounds, I mean, that's what you're attempting to do, and that's just what they did there. It's a heck of a job. Actually, the, the returner, you know, did what he was supposed to do. He stands on the 10. If it's over his head, he's supposed to let it go. So it was a good kick by Cleveland. And There's good Don coverage. James talking to Sandusky. The young man, you played pretty well. He has to be saying that. First and 10. Landry back in his own end zone. Throws it out. Incomplete. And it was uh, Besty Jackson playing against Larry Shepard. Interesting, they keep going. I mentioned this. Shepard's out there with Besty. And Besty is maybe Washington's best cornerback. An excellent defensive ball player. And uh, Shepard is having his problems trying to catch the football out there. Shepard's only 2 of 22, and they've gone to him about four times out of about six, eight plays. Second and ten, back at the five. Husky fans chanting defense over to our left. 340 to play, third quarter. Draw play inside. Breaks the tackle. Still going. Picks up the first down is Matt Pearson, the junior fullback out of Terrell, Texas. Pearson running behind his blocking pretty well and got some of that on his own, as you'll see. Yeah, again, it's just a draw play, and those offensive blockers for Houston are just screening the Husky defensive players and uh, giving Pearson the opening to make the yardage and the necessary first down. It's a big gainer for Pearson. Eight carries, 33 yards, got 13 on that. First and 10 now for Houston. Landry rolling to the outside. Looks, throws, Shepard, incomplete. They say he didn't have control of the football when he went out of bounds. The back to Shepard again. Now, if you're Carl Hilton and you had eight catches last week, you're wondering when you're going to throw the football to me. I'd go back there and say, hey, Landry, check me out once in a while. <laughs> I'm the big guy over here. Yeah. 84. One of the leading receivers in the history of this university. <laughs> That's right. Second and 10 at the 18. 319 to go here in the third quarter. Washington leading Houston 19 to 10. And off inside. Oh, up across 26 is Pearson. And it's going to be about three yards short of the first down marker. So it's going to bring up third. And we'll make it two. Okay. Long two. They got Dominguez coming in for Yates, so they're going to go to uh, what they call their slide defense. And they put Dominguez down over the tackle. LeBlanc comes in as a wide receiver for Houston. Here comes Landry rolling out. Looks at LeBlanc. He's got it. He's got the first down. Right at the 30. So LeBlanc makes another catch. He's now has two catches in the ball game. This is two just for 21 yards. Yeah, this is just a straight sprint out pass by Landry and and uh, LeBlanc just ran a little bit a little out pattern. They just picked up the necessary yardage for the first down. Bernard Gettings comes in the ball game now for Houston. LeBlanc number 14, Gettings number 17. You're looking at LeBlanc on your screen right now. He's a sophomore. First and 10 at the 31 for Houston. Inside is Matt Pearson again, and you now he gets about three on the play. Second and seven. He takes the ball to the 35. 2.05 to play here in the third quarter. And Houston, as you say, a ball control type of offense running that uh, the Houston beer. And it takes them a while to get down the field. They run a lot of plays in a ball game. A lot of plays. Run a lot of yardage in a ball game. Yeah, and, and not necessarily the points that uh, get on the scoreboard for the amount of plays that they run. Here's the semis, the running back. Second and seven. It's the blank in motion to the left. Landry going to keep this time. Ooh, good defensive play by Washington. Steve, Steve Albert, Albert, number 93. Albert playing on uh, that injured ankle. And back playing that nose guard position that he played so well. He started the first two games at the left defensive tackle spot. Moved back to nose guard for this ball game. And he didn't start because Matthews was in there. But boy, I'll tell you, he's a load. Interesting, his parents are down here. Oh, they are. Say, yeah, the Albert girls are here. Uh -huh. You know, that was a good play by him. He controlled that line of scrimmage, controlled the blockers, got off, made the play. He had a whole family down here to watch the ball game. See Steve make a play. Third and five at the 36. 58 seconds to play here in.
the third quarter and Landry comes up to the line of scrimmage and says wait a minute I don't like what I see on this third down and Washington has four sacks in the ball game so far so the Husky defense gave up a touchdown in the second quarter they have blanked him so far here in the third quarter and they lead by a score of 19 to 10 next week the Huskies return home to open open Pac-10 conference play against the UCLA Bruins following that it's on to Oregon to play against the Oregon Ducks so is that UCLA game a big game Bruce oh has that become <laughs> a big football game it really is yeah, I know a lot of Husky fans are really disappointed when Washington loses to Oklahoma State 31 to 17 in that opening game and they go to BYU in the matchup between number one and number two from a year ago and Washington loses by a score of 31 to three and uh, so to lead in this football game that's Andy Fuima Ono you're looking at right now he started the left defensive tackle position today He's got something in his eyes 6 2 weighs about 288 playing very well Landry incidentally is one of six for four yards in the third quarter. And he faces a third down right now third and five at the 36 57 seconds to play in the third quarter from Houston Yesterdome. 17 to 7 Baylor over USC. How about that. That'd be a big upset. What's SC rated number three in the country right number now three in the country. Yeah. Here we go third down. Third and five at the 36. There he Quick is. Look into the tight end. Breaks one tackle. Breaks another one. Goes to midfield. And Carl Hilton catches the ball for the first time. And takes the ball up to midfield. In fact, it's a Washington 48-yard line. Here it is. This is the basic play to the tight end off the option. Just a little look-in pass to him. He makes a great catch. Good for 16 yards and a first down. This he guy. runs right through Tony Zachary. Oh, yeah. Weak safety up front to make the stop. So the big guy makes his first catch of the ball game. It's first and 10 at the 48. Landry back to pass. Scrambles around. Still looking. Here's Bo Yates. Throws deep to the outside. There is nobody there. He throws it about 20 yards over the head of Carl Hilton. Washington fans on their feet booing. They say he threw the ball away. Well, I think he, he was. Did. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but there was a receiver in the area. Right. They wouldn't call that. No. Uh, uh, that's a good smart move on Landry's part. Everybody was covered. Nobody was open. Get rid of the darn thing. Second and 10 at the 48. 29 seconds to play here in the third quarter. You're looking now at the Husky bench. Don James, the middle of your screen. Skip all over at the right. Different Husky players in there right now. Landry, option. Pitches it. Oh, it looked like it almost was a forward lateral, but he picks up a couple of yards on the play. That's Matt Pearson, at the 32. This was a great play by the defense. Number 59, Hadley, has the quarterback sitting right on the line of scrimmage, and then Tim Peoples comes up on the pitch man. Just exactly the way you want to play the option. Everybody has their responsibility and takes care of it. Reggie Rogers coming to the sideline right now for Washington. They make a change. Steve Roberts comes in to replace him. He's out of Ashland, Oregon. Young kid who dropped out of school and came back to play in a Washington program. Time runs out here at the end of the third quarter. So on a third and eight, with Washington leading by a score of 19 to 10 over the Houston Cougars, let's take this time out. Welcome back to Houston, Texas. 15 minutes to go in this football game between the Huskies and the Houston Cougars. Here's Harry Sloan with an update on this man, Rick Fenny. Well, it appears the uh, Huskies are going to have to go the final 15 minutes without their big fullback, Rick Fenny. He's got his uh, right shoe off right now. They've got ice on that ankle. It's just too sore to continue. Back up to you, Bruce. Third and eight, Houston, five or uh, five of ten in third down. Landry to the outside, throws, almost intercepted by Washington. Knocked away on a good defensive play, and it could have been David Rill who got a hand up there. They got fourth down. He was looking for LeBlanc, the flanker, on a, on a little quick look-in pass, a little quick slant-in pass, and good coverage had the linebacker. David Rill was in his face, had his hands up, and got, his, got a piece of the ball. Robert Good. Myers to kick it away. Good defense by the Huskies. Fourth and eight to 46. Ooh, almost blocked again. Ron Milo in trouble. It's a 15, gets back to the 16-yard line. It's only a couple on the play. Cougars are doing a good job of covering punts tonight. Houston held the ball for 11 plays in four minutes without a score at the end of the third quarter. And we'll be back with more from Houston right after this. 
group of Husky cheerleaders who made the trip and enjoyed the day here in Houston. As we said, it was about 90 degrees, humidity about 90%. A lot of them around a pool earlier today. First and 10 now for Washington on their own 17. Straight ahead to Tony Covington. T.J. Turner making the stop. Picks up only a couple on the play. Takes the ball to the 19-yard line. I think it's second and eight at the 19. 14-32 to play in the football game. Washington leading it 19-10. The Huskies now offensively in their backfield. Back is Weathersby and Tony Covington also in the first running in the sideline. Weathersby. Ooh, what a hit. Bounces off of it. Keeps going. He makes only a couple of yards on the play, and that's across the, the 20 to the 22. That's good defense by the uh, Cougars. You see number 51, their linebacker, McGuire. Playing it perfectly, just staying, just good inside out position on the running back coming up and making the play. Good square, solid hit. Third down for Washington, third and six. Oh, just across the 21. Weathers be in the draw. Oh, there is nothing. He stopped before he gets to the line of scrimmage and knocked back to the 19. Kenneth Blunston. Junior, right defensive tackle from Garwood, Texas, is right there. So the Huskies going to have to kick it away now as Weathersby comes to the sideline. Fourth and eight. Huskies looking at the clock, I'm sure, with 13, 15 to go. Huskies so far in the game, 248 yards and 16 first down. Crenshaw standing back on the 40. Thane Cleland. Big rush. Oh. It is blocked by Houston, and the ball will go out of the back of the end zone. Safety. It's a safety. So Houston gets a couple of points on the safety. You know, the this ball was blocked by Larry Ball. I believe this is the first time that he's ever had a pump block, Cleveland, in, in his career, yeah. And boy, it was blocked. There was yeah, no it, there was no that. question. It. it, it Look at oh, there he is right there, 43. 43. Okay, I, I thought that maybe that nobody blocked him at all, but they tried to block him, and I thought maybe it was a, a mental error or a busted assignment. They tried to block him, they just missed him. That's a good effort on his part. That's for a safety for two points for Houston, and Washington going to have to kick it away and back to Houston again. See, that's a big play, Bruce, that two points, because they had a nine-point lead. Now it's down to seven. A touchdown ties it. A Go touch for two, and they win it. That's right. That could be a very big factor here as the game wears down here to the end. You see Don James talking to Jeff Ooh. Jager. If the ball would have been recovered in the end zone, it's touchdown. But the ball goes over the end line, last touched by Houston, and it's a safety. 19 to 12. Will the game turn around? Yeah, the bad news is it was blocked. The good news is it wasn't a touchdown. It was only a safety. <laughs> <laughs> but the other bad news is that Houston's <laughs> going to get the ball back. That's right. You're looking at number 80, Anthony Ketchum. Washington will kick the ball off from their own 20 after a safety. Jager will kick it off from there. So Ketchum and Earl Allen are standing back on their own 20-yard line. So Houston, as you might expect, is going to get excellent field position. Here comes Jager. Good high kick. Allen... And it's driven back to the 16. Allen to the outside. He's away from one man. Allen still on his feet at midfield, and Allen out of bounds at the Washington 44. Great run back by Earl Allen. Boy, they found a lane down the left side, as you'll see, and it was wide open. They sure did, and he makes a makes a nice cut here to the outside. Number 80's leading the play. Looked like there might have been a, a, a somewhat of a breakdown in the coverage by the Huskies. There had to be. So the Huskies now facing a difficult situation. That was a 44-yard return as Houston has the ball in Washington territory with 12.47 to go. Houston trailing 19 to 12. Landry back. Look and look and throws over the middle in and out of the hands of his tight end intended for Carl Hilton. They had uh, 
We may see it here. Yeah, here we see he's looking for he's looking for Hilton all the way. He wanted to throw it earlier, but both Real and Erlinson had pretty good coverage on him, so he had to delay his, his his throw. And by that time, it gave the linebackers a little bit more time to react to the ball. But he was definitely looking for Hilton all the way there. Sloan Hood now entered a running back spot with Michael Simmons for Houston. But out Gettings brings the play in. The blank in motion. Flag flies. Handoff straight ahead to Simmons. Huskies play it very well. He gets only about a yard on the play. Now Washington saying it's a hold. And the penalty is going to be against Houston. And I think it will be. No illegal procedure. Somebody moved before the ball. And so that's going to cost him five yards. This Husky defense has played very well the second half, Bruce. They've had their backs to the wall a little bit, and uh, I look up here at the scoreboard, the Cougars have only gained 178 yards in, in, in over three quarters of play. And the Huskies now decline the penalty, bringing up third and 10 at the 44. Talk about an important play in a drive. This could be it. Could be an important play in a game. <laughs> That's right. Washington 19, Houston 12, 12 26 to play in the fourth quarter. Houston facing third and 10 at the Washington 44. Landry back to throw. Throws complete. That's complete to LeBlanc for the first down at the 30. Dwayne LeBlanc came back to make the catch in the market at the 29. That was a great play by Landry because he had good pressure on him from Bo Yates and, and Erlinson. He got the pass off, a good throw, good catch. Big, big play for Coug the Cougars. He beats Vestie Jackson. Huskies make a change. Matthews back in the ball game. Dominguez out. First and 10 for Houston out to Washington 29. Landry, handoff. Sloan Hood picks up eight on the play. Takes the ball to the 21. Sloan Hood, a sophomore out of Houston. Hood hasn't played a lot tonight, uh, but he's he's played quite a bit uh, in his career here at, at, with Houston. Last year he was a, a good ball carrier for him. They kind of alternate those two fullbacks. Second and three for Houston. The Washington 22, 11:32 to play in the football game. Huskies leading 19 to 12. Black in motion. Landry handoff straight ahead to Hood again, and Hood gets the ball to the 20. He's going to be short of the first down marker. Due to the length of tonight's game, here's a program update. On KOMO TV4, the premiere of Hollywood Beats and Lime Street will both air in their entirety immediately following the conclusion of tonight's Washington-Houston football game. Third and one at the 20 for Houston. Ball loose. Washington has it. Huskies recover the fumble. Landry fumbles the handoff, and Washington has it. That's Hadley coming up with a the football. There you see the handoff, the ball knocked loose. It looks like Real got it out of there. Real made a nice play and might have knocked the ball out of there, and Hadley got the recovery. Now, that's a big play right there. <laughs> what a play. Good play by Ron Hadley. The senior two-year letterman from Boise, Idaho, the civil engineering major, makes the play. So the Huskies hold, and they'll take over first and 10 now with the Houston 25, 10-45 to play in the ball game. Franklin in motion, top of the screen. Weathersby dives over the center of the line. He'll pick up only a couple on the play, make it second and eight now as he takes the ball out to the 27-yard line. Kenneth Blunson in the right defensive tackle position making the initial hit for the Houston Cougars. Go back to turnovers again, Bruce. You know, they're such a critical part of the game, as, as most people know, but uh, they've had two takeaways tonight and have not given the ball back to Houston at all. And uh, they've had two big takeaways, one down there deep in Houston's territory to get a field goal, and, of course, this one here maybe to save a touchdown or a field goal. T.J. Turner was the man shaken up on the play for Houston. Here's the play again. Here's the fumble again. Let's... But uh, well, here's the shake up here. Not the fumble. There it is. Watch right. with the ball. And 95 is going to come in on the right side of your screen and take a pretty good pop. And Houston takes a timeout on the field. 
So Houston wants to talk it over on second and eight at their own at the Washington 27 with the Huskies leading 19 to 12. We'll be back at the Astrodome right after this. Lost somewhere between immensity and eternity, we are rapidly... Nate for Washington at their own 27. Huskies anxious to get the ball into play. Millen, the line of scrimmage. Long count. Millen back to throw. Pretty good rush. He's in trouble. Throws to the outside. Almost intercepted. Oh, that ball was almost picked off. Millen... Throwing a ball on the run, threw it into some traffic and almost had it picked off. You yeah. see it here now. Here's the rush. They had two guys putting pressure on him here, and he's retreating, falling backwards as he makes the throw. That's a tough one to complete. Pretty good coverage there, too. A lot of Houston guys around the receiver. Intended for Tony Covington on the sideline. Now it brings up third and eight for Washington, around 27. Down to the point where the Husky offense is going to have to uh, move the football a little bit. Millen, 4 of 14 here in the second half for 47 yards. 8 of 10 in the first half. Going to the outside. To Lonzel Hill, it is complete. And Hill out of bounds at the 40-yard line. And the Huskies have their first down. Houston's in a zone defense here. And what uh, Millen does is he catches uh, Hill in the zone between the linebacker and the corner. And uh, it's a good throw and a good catch. Big first down play. They needed that one. Greg Pearsall was the man over there uh, defending for Houston, but Washington gets the first down. Excellent play. Hill, three catches for 51 yards. Inside to Tony Covington. He'll pick up four. Take the ball to the 44. Kenneth Brunston, defensive tackle on the right side, makes the stop for Houston. There you see after three quarters, Husky 16 first downs. A rushing yardage about even, passing 13 of 25 or 6 of 5, 134 yards passing for Washington. Total yards 235 to 170. Time of possession. Now Washington leads in time of possession, 25-53 to a little over 19 minutes. Huskies now facing a second and six at the 44. Clock ticking away. 9:34 to play in the football game. They lead by seven. Weatherspeed at the outside, trying to get around a couple of tacklers. Picks up two yards on the play. Brings that, up now a third and four for Washington. On that time of possession, you know, Houston had the ball 18 minutes the first half, and now they've only had it 19-something through three quarters. That means they only had about a minute and something the third quarter. That can't be right. No, can it can't be right, because but I thought they was, had the ball longer than that, but that's what yeah. the, the stats come up right now in the third quarter. Interesting. Huskies, he going to the fourth quarter now, have more yardage than that. They have 17 first downs to 14 for Houston. Now, third and three at the 47 for Washington. A long three, almost four. Mellon looking, looking. Pretty good block. Goes deep down the sideline to Franklin, makes the catch at the 30-yard line and not only knocked down at the 28. Oh, and the ball comes loose, and Daryl Franklin makes the catch, and is he excited? That's a great play. What they did here is they faked the out route Look to at that Franklin, block. and now Franklin's going to run an out and then, and then up the field. And the ball's thrown a little bit behind him, and he comes back for it and makes the play. Great the ball comes out after yeah. he's on the ground, so no fumble. No fumble. Great adjustment by Franklin. As the ball was a little bit underthrown. Huskies have it first and 10 now at the Houston 28. We said that offense had to get a couple of first downs if Washington really wanted to uh, maintain momentum in this game. Weathersby. He runs by a couple of people and takes the ball to the 17. He picks up about 11 yards on the play. It's going to be good for the first down. Good call. We got a draw here on first down. A little delay action. Good blocking by the offensive line. Good running by Weathersby. Vince Weathersby so far in the game now. 16, 17 carries in the ball game. Well, he's not afraid to lower that shoulder and slam it into those defenders. Watch this right here. 64 Boom. yards. Oh, good you look job. for that if you're a coach, don't you? You bet. <laughs> you want those tough guys in there. <laughs> I heard that before. <laughs> Franklin in motion to the left. Number seven. First and ten for Washington. Here's Weathersby. Looking for daylight. Breaks one tackle. Dives straight ahead, and he's going to pick up eight yards in the play and take the ball inside the ten-yard line to the nine. Yeah, he breaks this thing outside. It starts to go up inside. And he, he breaks it outside, and look at right there. He gets hit, still fighting for that yardage. Look at that. Good effort. Weathersby, 17 carries so far in the ball game for Washington. Well, 18 for 72 yards. This guy's a workhorse. Look at him. He's tired. He's still he's still going. You can tell he's tired. Well, red shirt freshman, Dorsey blame. High School in Los Angeles. Franklin in motion. Huskies facing second and two at the nine. 
Weathersby going to be close to the first down marker, but I think he comes up short. Very close to the marker. That's Gary McGuire was the first man to hit him. Third and one. Third and one. I think the Huskies are going to get in the end zone on this drive, Bruce. I really do. Weathersby, 5'11", 192. Now, Rick Fenney's on the sideline, and Tony Covington is in at fullback, and he's been playing the last couple of series. He's at the Cleveland High School of Portland. He's only 5'11 and a half, 198. Third and one for Washington. Covington spins. I think he's going to be short of the first down. Yeah, they're going to go for a field goal. I was wrong. Well, they could go for it in fourth down. Yeah, they're not going to. They're sending no. in Jager. Trying to work on the left side of the line. And good defensive play by Glenn Montgomery was over there. Also, Kenneth Blunson was in on the play and played very well. This is this would be his fifth field goal if he makes. Is that some kind of a record in one game? He's four for four. Might be, huh? Kicks up. Looks five. good in his ears. He's five for five. That's got to be a record, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it has to be a record. That's right. <laughs> Washington 22 at Houston 12. And we'll get the record book out right now. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> Jeff Jager kicking the field goal. Setting a Washington record, he is five for five. That's the all-time Washington record. Jimmy being an ex-coach there, you knew what that record was right away. <laughs> <laughs> All record was four, held by Don Martin and Steve Robbins and Chuck Nelson. Jeff Jager had four on three other occasions. 1983 against Oregon, the Northwestern last year, and against Oregon State last year, but this is five for five for Jeff Jager. 22 to 12, Washington leads by 10. Important, important drive for Washington as they get three points in the scoreboard. 11 plays, 66 yards, and a 4.38 in the clock. Here's the kick. It is nine yards deep in the end zone, and Houston will put it in play on their own 20. So that takes a little bit of the wind out of the sails, I would think, for the Houston Cougars here to give up that much time on the clock. And uh, at the same time, see Washington get three points back on the scoreboard. So Washington leads by 10, 22 to 12. Yeah, that gives them a little bit more breathing room. Now they've got, you know, they got a touchdown and a field goal advantage on them and uh, only got six minutes to go. So total yards so better. far. Huskies 378 to 197 for the Houston Cougars. Houston put in play now with Landry the quarterback. He hands off to the right side and that's uh, Pearson. Uh, good for, oh, about three. Good play by Andy Fuyamono right there. Playing at that left tackle position. 12 carries for Matt Pearson, 51 yards so far in the ball game. Husky defense really playing very well. I, yes, they I, are, they, they especially are, the second half. Really picked it up. Second and eight at the 22. Pitch to the outside. Stop back at the 20 for a loss of two on the play. Back another, to the original line of scrimmage is Michael Simmons. And you mentioned David Rill and what's another this? Another excellent defense here. David Rill is scraping out to the outside. He, he checks the dive. He checks the quarterback right there on the pitch man along with Tim Peoples. Excellent linebacker play by, by uh, Rill and excellent corner play by or safety play by Peoples. 5-10 to play in the football game. Washington 22, Houston 12. Third and nine now for the Cougars. 21, Landry back to front. Looks, goes over the middle. It will be picked off by Tony Zachary. Zachary is going to be hit and knocked down at uh, the 34-yard line, but Tony Zachary has his first interception. Now, Zachary. La yeah, Landry's looking for Hilton here yeah. coming across, and, and Zachary's in good position back there in the deep middle and picks it off. A little overthrown, Zachary picks it off. Big play for him. First game. Tony Zachary out of Franklin High School in Seattle. There you see him. And it's his first start for Washington at the weak safety position. He played behind Daryl Hall, who broke his foot against BYU, played the second half against BYU. You know, he was a wide receiver in the spring and was converted to that weak safety position in the fall and is playing very well. And you look around, and the 20,000-plus here, one of the smallest crowds ever to see Washington play, begin to lead. Hand off straight ahead. That's Tony Covington with the ball. He picks up. About five on the play. So Huskies controlling the football now with 4.42 to go in a ball game. We've mentioned 
20,000 plus here to watch this football game. Kind of surprises you. Here's a team that won the Orange Bowl last year and a team that played the Cotton Bowl last year. And they can only draw that many people down here. You're looking at the Washington bench now. Bill Yeoman on the other side. Get his team going. Huskies now facing a second and long five at the 30. Weathersby. Down to the 20 or make it the 32 yard line. He's going to be short of the first down by about three yards. Picks up only a couple on the play. What the place? Time. Place like this, the clock just continues to yeah, run. Yeah, and that's what they wanted to do right now. They just want to, they just want to, they got a, they got a 10 point lead. They got a good field position here. They can afford to run the ball and use up time on that clock. I think they'd like to get in the end zone, but they'll settle for the win. Rod Jones in motion to the right. He sets up at the line of scrimmage. David Trimble drops back to put four in the backfield. Hand off. Weathersby. Big hole. Gets the first down and goes to the 15. McManus was the first man to hit him. Third oh, and five. Have. Bruce, uh, Houston might have been expecting a pass, and they, they gave the ball to Weathersby on the draw out of the eye, and they picked up excellent yardage. 21 carries for 86 yards. He's having a good night, isn't he? He hit 74 against BYU in that ball game. That Husky offensive line, they're doing a good job. Sure. Opening some holes. First and 10 for Washington. The ball at the 15. Just short of the 15, 16. Straight ahead goes Tony Covington. Harper was the first man to hit him inside, the right inside linebacker. 6'2", 237 sophomore. He had a Kansas City, Missouri. Tony Covington, Cleveland High School in Portland, redshirt freshman, five carries, 16 yards. And in for Rick Fenney, who had a big first half, played most or about half the third quarter, and then the ankle began to act up a little bit more, so he's out. Fenney, 16 carries for 57 yards in the ball game, and the Washington touchdown. Only one of the games scored in the second quarter. Other than that, it's been all Jeff Jaeger. He's kicked five field goals. He's five for five tonight. Ooh, Weathersby hit behind the line of scrimmage, and you know the name, number 95, T.J. Turner. Now, Turner, an outstanding player, is going to make a play like this. Again, now and then. again, there, it looked like there might have been some kind of a mix-up in blocking assignments because, because he came scot-free. You and I could have made that play. You know, nobody blocks you. It's easy to make a tackle. Well, when you're 6'4", 281. That helps, too, doesn't that it? That helps a little bit. <laughs> Third and nine for Washington at the 15. 207 to play in the ball game. Washington leading 22 to 12. Husky is trying to pick up their first win of the year. Millen. Will he throw? No. Back to Weathersby. Weathersby still going. Weathersby will take it into the end zone. Now Washington scores. A 15-yard burst up the middle by Vince Weathersby, and he scores his first touchdown at Washington. Watch yeah. this. Little, little delay, little uh, draw-type draw action, a little delay action, and uh, just a good run, good blocking. God, he had a big hole. Nice run. Now, talk about that offensive line. They open oh, that hole, don't uh, they? A great hole. And again, I think Houston was playing the pass and getting upfield, and uh, just an excellent job of execution by the Husky offense. Six plays for Washington to get in the end zone. You talk about a happy group. Yeah, they're fired up, aren't they? They ought to be. Jager in to attempt the extra point. Kick is up. Jager's absolutely perfect in this ballgame. So the Huskies lead it now. By a score of 29 to 12 over Houston. And as we would mentioned, there's the guy, Vince Weathersby from Dorsey High School in Los Angeles. His first start at Washington. He's a redshirt freshman. Don James says, I want a running back that's going to run hard. Well, he's that's got one. Man. He's, he's got, got one. He's got him and he's got Finney and he's got Covington. All those guys are running hard. They, they look very, very good tonight. <laughs> So Vince Weatherby, Weathersby scores his first touchdown at Washington. This is his first start. This is Matt Simon. That's the line or the uh, running back coach at Washington. And you talk about a guy with a smile on his face. He's got a smile on his face because he knows Don James is going to be a lot easier to live with this next week. <laughs> <laughs> Locker room will be a little bit different than it was at BYU. That's right. Nice trip home. Yes, you could hear a pin drop. 155 to play in the ball game. Washington's Jagger will kick it off. And he has had a big night. So the Huskies, something really goes wrong. Going to pick up their first win of the year. And the ball is going to be dropped a yard deep in the end zone. And Houston 
will put it in play on the 20, and that was Earl Allen. Here's the scoring drive, six plays, 34 yards, 2.59 off the clock, and that 15-yard run on a third down by Vince Weathersby. So the Husky defense back on the field, knowing that they really have played very well. You know, so far. You, you look up here, they've held the, the Houston Cougars, a very, very good offensive football team. They've held them to less than 200 yards total offense with a little less than two minutes to go in the ballgame. And Washington has amassed 416 yards in total offense. Somebody said they wanted that Washington offense to finally do something. Well, they're doing it tonight. Handoff up the middle. Good break. Good run to the outside. That's going to be very close to a first down. Matt Pearson. So Pearson has 13 carries in the ballgame so far for Houston. I think they surprised him. Simmons makes a good block on Hadley, and Pearson makes a nice cut to the outside. Good game. They say he was over the first down marker out to the 31. So it's first and 10 for Houston at that point. Landry. Rolling back, looking, throws to the outside. It throws behind the intended receiver, and that's Carl Hilton. I'll make it to Dwayne LeBlanc. LeBlanc, number 14. Landry sprinting out to the right, looking for LeBlanc on a little curl in route, and he throws him too far to the outside. LeBlanc can't get his hands on it. Not a very good throw that time. Huskies have made some changes in there. I know Paul yeah, Waskim is playing right now, number 55. Waskim, interesting situation. Three brothers in the Washington program right now. I'll play to Juanita High School. Also in Brian Habib, who moves in the nose guard to the left defensive tackle position for this ball game. Roberts in there as well. Throw over the middle, incomplete. That's intended for the big tight end, Carl Hilton. Huskies defending that play very well. So chance for Don James to get some other people in there and play. Make another change inside right now. Dory Murray, the red shirt freshman from Interlake High School, comes in now for Jimmy Matthews. So Dory Murray, whose father, you know, played in the NBA, played for the Sonics. Oh, is that right? Yes. I, I remember when he played at Interlake. We, we had left, but I remember that name. Oh, he's a good football player. Yes, I know he is. I know young, the Husky. Young red shirt freshman playing the nose guard spot right now. Third and 10 at the 31. Landry back to throw. Looking over the middle. He's got his man. That's Ketchum. Ketchum gets the first down. A wild scramble out there. Ketchum felt that. Yeah, I think this is the first time, first pass Ketchum's caught tonight, isn't it? Yes. He's their speed guy, got great speed, runs at 10, 400 meters. Yeah, Ketchum's first pass of the ball game, good yeah. for 22 yards. Yeah, he gets in the open, look out. Yeah. Gettings comes out wide to the left. Anthony Ketchum is number 80, goes to the sideline. Greg Landry, back to throw, scrambling around, gets away from one man. Away from another, still on his feet. He's going to get the first down and out of bounds. There's only 110 to go in a ball game. He takes the ball. I mentioned earlier. Out of the 20 or make it the 34-yard line, and the Huskies put their first defensive unit back in the ball game. Yeah, I mentioned earlier that uh, the, the, the Husky defensive coaches were concerned about his ability to run the football when he was sprinting out to pass, and this is the first time that he's really, well, not the first time, but he really hasn't hurt him that way too much tonight, which has been good. First and 10 now at the Washington 34. 110 to play in the football game. Land is going to hand it inside. And pick up about four yards on the play by Michael Simmons. He's the junior from Rockport, Texas. Don got that first defense back in there pretty quick, didn't he? Oh, he did. No question about that. So now it brings up a second and six. The ball at the 30-yard line. Less than a minute to play now. 54 seconds. Washington leading it 29 to 12. Landry. Going to go back to throw. Blitz on. They get Landry and knock him down. Tim Peoples coming from the outside on a safety blitz. And he got it for the sack. That's five sacks for the Huskies in the ball game. Yeah, here comes Peoples. They, they call this a crash. Uh, the Huskies call this a strong safety crash, and uh, they work great. Hard to pick that guy up. Sometimes you don't have any block or a counter for that strong safety when he blitzes. 
I'm looking down at the Washington bench and they've got a stretcher down there and they're going to help somebody off the field. We'll tell you who it is in just a moment. Third and 13 at the 37. Landry back to throw. He's got time this time. Look out. He's going to be hit and stopped behind the line of scrimmage on a fine defensive play for the Huskies. Ron Hadley. Ron is having himself quite a football Hadley's game. Hadley's played an excellent game tonight. Good coverage again by the Huskies. Secondary. Landry had nobody to throw to and it gave uh, time for that rush to get in there and get him. Good play by Ron Hadley on the rush. He was looking for Ketchum again, and Miles had good coverage on, on Ketchum. Well, they take the stretcher away. We didn't mean to scare you, but we looked. I think it's going to be Rick Fenney who is going to be helped off. They've got that ankle in ice, and he's going to be helped off the field right now. But six seconds to go in the ball game. It's not Rick Fenney? Okay, well, we'll see who it is then. Is it Thomas? Garth Thomas? Uh, Garth said Thomas that? is going to be helped off. Yeah. The so Th Fenny was next to him. Yeah, Harry. Yeah, Garth, Garth Thomas. Thomas. Uh, it's that thigh bruise, and they just uh, don't want to aggravate it anymore, so they're going to wheel him off the field. Okay. Fenny was down there next to him. He was indeed, and uh, he seems to be well. He's up uh, and uh, kind of has a smile on his face right now. He's I talking to Hugh McMillan. I imagine that whole bench has a smile on their face. Here we go. Fourth and 16 to 41 with six seconds to go. Houston has the ball. Washington has this one put away. They lead it 29 to 12. Landry, final play of the game. Goes deep. There is big tight end. Be intercepted by Washington. Huskies have the football. And they intercept it. And that's Tony Zachary, number 31, with the interception. And Washington wins the football game yeah. 29 to 12. They're Here's trying the to they're trying to get a, a big touchdown here. Actually, one of the defenders had fallen down, and Zachary's playing the deep middle in his own defense, trying to keep him out of the end zone right where he's supposed to be and makes a good interception. That's two for him tonight. Okay, so Washington wins it by a score of 29 to 12, and we'll be back with a final comment right after this. Introducing something new. By a score of 29 to 12 here at the Astrodome in Houston, Texas tonight. First win of the year for Washington. They are now one and two. They move on now to play UCLA, their opening conference game coming up next Saturday. Quite a football game. Good to see the offense. Jimmy Mora get out there and do something and score a couple of touchdowns. And I think they found a running back in a young kid named Vince Weathersby tonight, didn't they? There's no question about that. He had a great night running the ball and also as a receiver. You know, they threw to him quite a bit and uh, he did an excellent job. Very hard, very aggressive. I thought Finney ran well. I thought Covington ran well. I thought the offensive line did an excellent job defensively with all the changes now as we said they slid some people around started a couple of guys for the first time and it played very well Fui Maono starts for the first time and they start to Jimmy Matthews in the center for the first time as a nose guard and I thought they played well I think the Husky defensive coaches are going to feel real good uh, when they look at the films they had some trouble early but uh, like we commented on you know that options a tough thing to get used to but the second half they were super but overall played a good defensive game they certainly did. Harry Sloan's been down there closer to the action. He's on the sideline. Harry, what'd you think? 